folks, we are here once again with another monthly at Boston Blue Beat. I am Toledo, and I'm joined by the wonderful Lennox. What's good, my man? Good to see you, as always. Um, I just got the pep talk of a lifetime, so I'm, <laughs> I'm ready to watch the Blaze Blue, baby. Let's do it. <laughs> We're getting a little rowdy over here, but uh, honestly, what a crazy year it's been. We're starting to come. We're starting to come to, uh, to the close of the year. Dude. People are in college. We're about to next monthly. We're probably gonna grab a bunch of the college kids and be like, we'll play some video games. Yeah. There. College exhibitions, college exhibitions, college exhibitions, Look, that's, college exhibitions. That's, that's for the people up there. That's for the yeah, people up there. That's fair, that's but fair, yeah. uh, in all seriousness, uh, it's been a pretty fun time. Everyone's been chilling out so far. Um, we've got some pretty cool folks here uh, for this bracket today. Aradad is on his way. Uh, Ryder <laughs> is in this bracket as well, which I was uh, I was a little surprised by because uh, I know he he messed up his like lever list recently. Um, oh, he's, he's back at it now. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. That's exciting. That's exciting. Um, looks like we're going to be starting at the bottom of the bracket. It's going to be Chemical Jade versus Jackie Sparkles. Jackie, of course, representing the Tager. No surprise there. Yep. Um, and obviously, Jade's got to be playing the nine, as you see on the stream. Yeah. Um, she's, been, she's been putting a lot of work in with this character, dog. Like, yeah, I've been I've been a little surprised because Jade, like, um, Jade would, would, like, dabble in Blaze Blue. But it feels like this year especially. She's leveled up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, oh, been, oh. she's been putting more time into it. So it's been interesting. I think the, the latest thing she worked on uh, in terms of labbing was some of the freeze reset stuff that um, Nine can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I That's don't know fun. how often it'll come up for this matchup because this is one of those matchups where, like, Nine just looks at Tigger and goes, like, my yes. buttons will just invalidate you. Right my, my C buttons are better than yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah 100%. Um, and, and in general, Jade's been doing a really good job of uh, extending these matches by playing, like, solid and safe neutral and and not like putting yourself in these like kind of dog water situations that get her like 720 you know what i mean it's, yeah. it's playing it a lot safer which i really like to see especially against this character right here jackie already burning the early overdrive and that might have been one of those resets that might have just been a meaty too but i'm not sure um that was a different like high low setup okay so i don't know if she'll pop the free set up here but she's trying to do a bunch of so so here's the thing about c so here's the thing about c and here's why c is like not degenerate, but degenerate with a smile. Yeah. So, Seed has two hits. No okay. matter what, the first hit that makes contact with you is a low. Oh, so, so the first, the first hit, hit and the second one's a will low. Will still be a low. Oh, that's evil. Or the first okay. hit will hit you and still be a low, and then the second hit will just be a mid. That's got to be awful for fuzzy time. It's too. it's oh, really weird. No. And so nine not necessarily will unblockable you, but she'll hit you with hard to block mm. in a lot of cases. I really Stay like focused. going for the uh, 368 there from Jackie to try to pull Jade in. Yeah. This is one of those matches where, again, like one of Nine's great features about her set play is the fact that she maintains a specific distance that makes it very difficult to even reverse a little RPS with her in certain ways. So it could be a little difficult. Yeah, popping the uh, 50 meter right there for the reverse. Oh, no! Oh, you're so dead from that. Oh, Shot the through the heart. Sparkle. My goodness. That was a really good sparkle. I'm not going to lie. That was, absolutely. <laughs> Especially with Jade spending the early burst in that round. Like, that kind of got her a really bad Early, and that's, that's the snowball thing that we were talking about earlier. Yeah, so you'll see the so you'll see the amethyst come up a lot, and that's like a really good zoning tool for nine because it's just like the slowest fireball. You can Whoa! <laughs> okay, I have not seen that. I have actually not seen it. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Take him Okay, it's all good. See the the, the whiff air driver oh. and the nine flying around. That's the take one. I I never seen nine yeah. get pulled back in after the first dash. Nah, that's crazy, bro. Oh, tragic. That person ended up not making contact. Again, just due to the fact that Nine can just stay so far away. Yeah. Ops for the freeze, goes for the basic fairy oak. She can't teleport around, but hit it. Might have gotten clipped by the active frames regardless. That's a meaty throw. Might be an OD, might be a reversal. We'll see what comes up. No! It's going to be RC to extend, and that's unburstable there. Burst is going to be available, or OD will be available for that. He just dashed! Yeah, that was that was crazy. That could have been a lot worse right there. Sparkle connected, but yeah, armor. Yeah. Just it's going to be the sledge, yeah. Just going to so, be the sledge. The thing that made that dash very dangerous is mm. that while Nine's da back dash is fully projectile involved, it's not strike involved. So That's you can still it. just yes, yeah, so you can still just get meaty. Okay. So like, if she's Rebel doing that in certain one. places, Action. like that is just a hard call out to just be like, oh, Makes sense. like I'm just gonna get away from like a smart move. Um, 
See, this this is the neutral I want to see a little bit more of right here. Dashing around of Taker's effective range. Yeah, using these big normals. Yeah, there you go. But got to be aware of the Sledge again, yeah. Exactly. And part of what makes Sledge kind of funny in this matchup is because Amethyst is so slow, Nine truly can't just do, like, the most, like, Re basic Ryu-esque light fireball, <laughs> walk behind it, react to a projectile thing, and just like hit a button. Yeah. So it can be a little tough for Tigger to deal with it. Um, it. It's like a weird moment where like Nine's walk speed is bad, but like you need to walk around as Nine to get really, really good. Oh, that was weird. Wow. That was a weird moment. I saw you don't normally see like Nine's like freezing like, off the set up there. Yeah. But uh, it makes sense to me. Like I think she might have been able to beat out enough damage to win, but. Fair play, going in the air as soon as you see that charge up a sledge. Like not, uh, Jade is like really trying to like not play the grounded game against Taker right now, which I kind of get. Yeah, the tough, the basically the big thing is that like unless you're magnetized, if Nine's in the air, like she can still remain in spaces where Atomic Collider is not really going to make contact. It's once she's magnetized like this where you might see Taker reach into the heavens and just yeah. pull her aside. Yeah, it's it def definitely has the air mobility, but yeah, like you said, with uh, with magnetization, it could be a little dire. This that's could be the turnaround that Jackie needs. That's so that's much damage. One more of those. Oh, he made the DP. through the slow DP. Oh. The DP is so slow, but uh, but Wedge is also so slow that it has so much info. You have to guess for game now. Yeah, that's a 720. Say, oh no, it's just regular 360p. When it down, wedge? we just sparkle. How just sparkle. Wedge? Yeah. I thought that he was gonna. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy, bro. That was crazy. Yeah, I was. I mean, we built 50 meter there, right? I was ready for the 722, but Jackie, Jackie was ready for that for whip. I actually love that 5A into the jump there, recognizing that the hit was a little awkward. Yeah. On the Trying to go for sledge, but he finally gets the punish on that sledge. Yeah, looking for that teleport early. We saw a few times, but now gets it. It's just going to be EA to get right through, though. Taker going to be in this silver oh! position. Whoa. Jackie, so Jackie's looking really hard to spark bolt in order to either call out like a reversal or maybe to look for something else there. But in reality, he's oh god. But in reality, he has to just basically go like, I have to meet you and be wrong. Yeah. Like he just has to be incorrect on like a teleport and hold that. Otherwise, like he will waste the spark bolt, and that is such a huge resource in this match. Yeah. Match. Has it built back up? Spends the purse. Not able to get the, oh, this could be really bad. Another huge drop from Jack. Well, Leave wait a minute. Damage on the table. Oh, God. Okay, yeah, DP. So even with the armor, you still take the damage there. Yeah, so, well, yeah. it's because the 720 is, like, fully invuln, but I actually forget how long the invuln lasts. It's just one of those weird moments where, like, sometimes you try to, for example, like, you know when you try to safe jump, but somebody yeah. has, like, a really slow DP? And then because, you press a button after you yeah. get hit, yeah. So it, it's like similar to that in that, like, because 9 DP is so slow, it has full invuln for a long duration. Oh. So it ends up like hitting uh, Jackie in that case. It's really I, weird. That explains the awkward yeah. interactions we've been seeing when DP, like, kind of comes out that night. That yeah. makes a lot of sense. And the same thing for Wedge Catapult, the really slow, like, grab where it, like, just tosses you to the side. It's a little happen for some reversals in the game. Um, it's mostly cursed. Sometimes it's a weird blessing in disguise. Spark Bolt ends up connecting. That's a big burst to get out of Jade. Ooh, gets the side switch here. No, not sure if that's exactly what she was looking for. That was definitely not, but we're going to take the reset after, and that's A-OK. -okay. Not going to be able to carry to the corner. Ah, yeah, that could have been so much worse for both players, honestly. I felt like a gossip on the train, like listening to something and like leaning in and going like, will this kill her or no? Am I am I doing too much or no? Oh, there's, there's the seed. There's that low you were talking about earlier. Boom, boom. Dog. Smacked again. Dog. Dog. This is that point right here. This, this is one apiece, dog. Oh this my god, you're right, game. you're yeah. right. Oh, Jesus. I, know, I had to check. I was I like totally lost track of the Dude, score. you're just better. Don't worry. Clip by the low here. Let's see what comes up as a result. The Oki will be. <laughs> no doubt. This is nine. And there's the ice again taking the damage. Not going for the reset right here. Oh! Uh, you stood there. Was that a whip button? Was that a I'm good I'm going to guess that that was like Jade trying to call out something hard yeah. by standing still. Or just like, or genuinely missing. But hard to tell here. Seed is planted. That's the quick oh. overhead. We're snowballing. We're snowballing so hard yeah. right now. Jackie's got the meter this is and gonna the be, spark ball. Yeah, there's the ice reset, but not ready for the rock. This is surely going to be a burst or an OD coming up soon. There's Whoa, the burst, but just it blocking is. it. Him, called it right out, and yeah, Seed once again came out. Um, pretty, uh, pretty convincing game three there for um, for Chemical Jade, Jade there. Yeah. Jesus, yeah. Uh, Jackie falling into losers a little earlier than usual, but I mean, Jackie, Jackie, Jackie makes these top eight runs. You I know? think, I think you'll be fine. I think you'll be fine. But uh, yeah, like 
that matchup is very messed up for a variety of reasons. Um, it's one of those where optimally, Nine doesn't necessarily even play Lamb so much as she just works as a like walking stop sign, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Jade is Got the buttons for it. Yeah, Jade stylistically is not usually inclined for that. That's not like that's just like how Jade plays yeah. and all that stuff. But you can still see like there are certain implementations of that that like Jade will still do. Like she'll still play at certain ranges or like jump in places where Taker has a very hard time reaching. Yeah. So it's still like effective. It's um honestly saw that a lot in that first game, right? Okay. Yeah. It's like you said, first thing, like just playing around that spacing game, especially when you get the Oki set up and you're already spaced out a little bit where you can you could deal with, man, Spark Bolt's a little harder. Obviously, we saw Jackie yeah. Yeah, having some good success with that, but even just wake up OD, right? Um, that's one of Jackie's favorite options to do is OD, take a deep breath. Okay, what's the situation? Oh, I can 720 you here? Okay, perfect. Can you believe he used to burst more? <laughs> Yes, I can. I, as, I a, as a former new Blaze Blue player who used to burst all yeah, the time, I, I can he, definitely believe that. I think it was like it was either Thantus or me. I remember like talking to Jackie all the time, and like Jackie, you gotta stop bursting, bro. You're it wasn't. It, was, it wasn't even. I was like, dude, you click OD and you 720 somebody, and just look at what happens to them. And like it's so good. And we've we've seen what happens before, but right now we're getting right into Science Cat versus Uber Pasta. It looks like yeah. um, Uber on the Lambda. Uh, so this is interesting, or is this the Mew? I always confuse the uh, two. No, this is Lambda. Okay. Right. Oh, no, I got it right. right. No, 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 no. Whenever you see the weird like aura, that's that's Lambda. I understand the differences in the characters. I just confuse their names. <laughs> oh, no worries. So whenever, look, quality green practice, whenever you see 11. So think about it. It's literally the letters on the alphabet. Oh. Lambda 11, Mew okay. 12, Mew 13. That's how, that's how I always go about Perfect. it. Perfect. All right. It, it happens to everybody. The oh, worst part about that. it is that they all, is that Lambda and New 13 have colors of each other. Oh, So that's sometimes evil. you just get clipped by like a balance swap. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so Science Cat, one of the regulars here at BB, uh, Boston Blue Bee, rather. We like we don't see them coming out a whole ton these days, but it is good to see the Kokono way out again. Yeah. And I mean, this is why right here. This character's super messed up, having to play at a ton of ranges, especially with Gravitons out right here. Oh, but we're gonna, no, no, okay, I gotta go for the reset with the super. Yeah, trying to like, uh, basically trying to guarantee an offensive situation there and like opting with the to get that done. Not quite gonna work out here. And here we have Science Cat popping the Super Bowl just to be like, all right, I'm um, just gonna deal with this. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta deal with this. Basically. Uh, gonna hit raw, not even get the mix up after. This is a character that's super hard to deal with if you're if you're not ready to deal with Pokemon as shenanigans. And Science Cat is so good at robbing. Okay, that was a great press. Meteor was coming out, had to do something right yeah, there. Yeah, I think that might have been a misinput where like Science Cat wasn't expecting the jab to connect. It happened to like put like a quarter or something there. Yeah. Graviton is out, which makes the offensive scenario a little more awkward here. Let's see what comes up next for the Oki when you go left and right. Oh, same side. We're chilling. Watch the over at Sneeze oh. Plus with the fireball, too. Yeah, once again, the wind neutral uh, super. We'll take that every day of the week. Blocks the overhead that time. All right, all right. And just instantly backs off, trying to make that space. Set up uh, set up the set play. Set up the new. Ooh. Just going right under with the yo-yo? OK. Great whiff punish right there. So yeah. a very important thing that you'll see. So you know how like sometimes Lambda or Lee will like, send out their swords to like, oh, yeah. try to clip you in the air? Yeah. The big problem that they inherently have. Whoa. Oh, that's bad. Oh, oh, you got it. OK, okay we'll get into that in a moment. Yeah. That was, that was yeah, weird. I've never seen that happen that yeah. way, actually. Oh, this is surely going to be a super close though. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. 100 meter? I mean, you, you, worst comes to worst, never mind. It's oh. the overhead. We're going to spend whatever we need to here. Death imminent. Death imminent. Yeah, there it is. All right. Yeah, so what I was saying is that Lambda, so the 60 is like the shallow kind of anti air, and the 2D is the one where they're sitting and they send it up in the sky. <laughs> right, okay. So the big weakness of those moves is that uh, both Lambda and New 13 have to, like, really hard call out like what direction you're gonna go in right because all of those have high whiff recovery and if yeah. you're at like mid-range you can still crouch under the 6d mm. and additionally coconut 3c happens to be a really really absurd like button to what, throw was out that the yo-yo thing, thing yeah she did? That's okay the okay yeah so we saw that a little bit yeah. earlier yeah so you see like science cats using that at that like, one a right range there. right there it's very very good it might it like there's chances where it may interrupt like a 5D, the one that travels along the ground. Yeah. But if Uber Pasta opts for an anti air option, like it'll just like punish it and counter it. For it. And Kokonoe counter hits are very, very silly. <laughs> yeah, are, I've been on the receiving end of those. They are not a fun time for uh, sure. 
Yo, what a press. All right, just getting right out here, and the meaty's going to connect the 2B to it. Looks like this could be a little trouble for, uh, for Science Cat here. We're yeah. going to coast to coast. Looks like Uber Fosca maybe caught a fuzzy jump in the middle of that string. Masters Anonymous is looking for another member here. Counter A comes in. I like the check on the IAD right there with a quick 5A. Let's see what comes up next. Uber Fosca not really trying to press or take any major advantage when Science Cat's backing off. Let's see what comes up next for potential mix. Ooh, drops the 2C. Ah, there it is. All right. Did he get the No, no, that's, that's not a super. Kill. That's a super drop. That's a super drop. Oh, and that's a checkmate scenario. Oh. There. Is that is that the command grab? So it's an unblockable. Okay. That move used to be really messed up, and it's it's a long explanation to like go into why. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, of course. We but got we just, got the CF history. Just yeah. know that like that move is primarily like relegated to checkmates now. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say we haven't seen it a whole ton, like, yeah. and I've, I've seen a good amount of science cat over like the last couple years. Yeah, it it pops up on occasion. Oh, two, two, two. Really nice option there because it moves Landa back. Yeah. Like, she doesn't really have to deal with any cross-up scenario there, so that's really, really cool, actually. Yeah, we've seen Uber Pasta relying on that a couple times. I'm curious to see if Science Cat has a solution for it, but hey, you know what? Sometimes you just got to get the press out, and it looks like Uber got caught hitting something. So that's going to be a pretty decent uh, counter hit combo here. Active Flow, of course, going to be a little Four damage buff. Hello! Yeah, there's that uh, There's that Ice Freeze we were talking about earlier going for reset. Yeah, so Kokonoe's Ice Reset is a, a four-way mix of the costume. That's crazy. Uh, I'm playing the wrong ice character, bro. It's, oh. it's messed up. It's, it's very powerful. Jokes aside about the ice resets, though. Science Cat is uh, is kind of using 3C, like, kind of similar to how I use that with Jin. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, just, no, 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 oh, yeah. you stand it up? All right, uh, yeah, let's get let's get that. If not, a yeah, little special cancel. No yeah. big deal. I, again, that's, that's a 2-0 for, for Science Cat right yeah. there. But, yeah, the comparison to Jin 3C and Kokonoe 3C in the specific way that you're describing is pretty apt, I would say. Yeah. Because, like, specifically because, like, they are both crouching and shrinking their hurt boxes, like, as they are going for it. Yeah. Coco 3C is, like, weirder due to it having, like, a very, like, it does have a dead zone. I forget, like, the Is it multi-hitting, too? Does it hit yeah, twice? Yeah, it hits, hits twice. Okay, that's what I hits thought. Hits twice. Uh, great on counter hit. <laughs> yep. Uh, you can you can 3C OD and do a bunch of stuff off of that as well. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a very good button. Um, Hell yeah. And because it's special cancelable, like she can just go into like the rocket fists, hmm. um, and then she'll be like relatively safe, minus but safe basically. Perfect. Well, I'll um, be curious to see how Science Cat faces off against uh, Chemical Jade uh, in our going to be one of our top eight matches. Um, but I believe we're we're at a little bit of an impasse here with uh, with yeah. Winter Side. Um, obviously. Uh, Spooky not here. I see, um, no, I see him. I no, see him up the corner of my eye. Right there. Ooh, right there. Right yeah. There. I should have. Right. I, I, I looked at the corner right. of my eye and I said, that's long hair, glasses, yeah. arms folded like he's stern, that's ready to say dog. a verbal <laughs> post. Ready to break so out the Yoda voice on stream again. Something like that. <laughs> God knows what he selects next. Oh, man. It's a, it'll be a guess for all of us. All right. So Spooky is here. So. Yeah. Um, we're either we're probably going to be either running Spooky versus Chris or Aerodat versus Ryder. I think I saw Aerodat uh, hanging out in the venue. I believe I see him over there. Oh, that's uh, good, because I didn't see Aerodat. So uh, that's one it, of these. It might not be. I'm, I'm all the way across the venue, and I'm uh, I'm running out of fumes over here. Don't so worry about it. No Don't need to take it. my word for it, because that is not to be trusted. But <laughs> either way, we got we, we got some more. Uh, we got some Blaze Blue action coming up for you. Exclamation yeah. point, Matcharino in the chat. If you want to contribute to this here bracket, um, Wheel's already doing the work for you. Thank you, Wheel. Just click that link, click the Contribute button, sign in. Um, and, of course, if you're feeling generous, you want to throw down a couple bucks, hit the big yellow Contribute button there. Give these players a couple extra dollars. Smaller bracket today. Um, but a lot of our, like, usual folks aren't here, so we, we have kind of an interesting opportunity for some of these other players to step up and try to crack top three. I'm really excited. Um, Jade's kind of like – Jade and Ryder are, like, kind of my two dark horses for this bracket to, like, really crack top three because – I, you know, if Spooky's in the bracket, Spooky's going to be there, you know. Um, Aerodat's got a really good chance. Jackie's always got that chance. But, like, Science Cat's probably going to be a top three. I don't know, dude. There's a lot of different ways this could shake out, and I'm excited for it either way. Yeah, yeah, we'll okay. see. So oh, that's right. Why do I keep forgetting this? Chris switched on his arm, like, way long ago. Yeah. <laughs> so Chris used to play uh, Lambda. And then at some point, uh, it was either this year or last year, um, ended up playing Hazama. I, man, I forget the conversation I had with the masculine. <laughs> but, um, Joining the Hazama army? Yeah, 
Yes. Oh, man. The, the snake. snake uh, I don't know. There's some alliterative thing there that's funny, but I don't know. So the this, snake convoy. This matchup's a little different than what I'm used to seeing from Arakune, I think. Um, yeah. I'm assuming Chain. I, like, I haven't seen this matchup a whole ton, obviously, but I'm assuming Chain plays a little bit of a factor where, like, he's going to have to respect that at least. You know what I'm saying? Especially pre curse. Um, Not so much? I actually don't know. I'm, All right. not, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know. It's, <laughs> so see. it's weird because, like, my imagination here is that this is one of those cases where, like, Kazama has to be has to have like some restraint for when he cancels his chain options. Yes. Um, and like when he chooses to spend versus like our unit really just wants to play primarily like very invasive because the moment that Hazam is a sitting duck, like you will get clipped in some scenario. Like, oh yeah. First coming in here, whoa, that's a bold dash up for a throw. Yeah. I'm surprised he really press on that. Ah, yeah, Spooky was not ready for that one, apparently. Not a ton of damage, but in the corner. Look at these IBs coming out. Spooky's got these on deck. That's bait. That's oh. bait right there, son. I like the OD, but I don't think he recognized the fact that Hazama was in a 6 beat startup because he shifts really slightly. And so he ended up getting clipped, like, right after the OD. <gasps> oh, there's the chain cancel. We're oh, going in. Command throw. I, I think this should be the kill. That's good. That's good. Oh, yeah. Hit him with the donkey kick right at the end just for good measure. All right, Spooky going down the first game. Let's see. Ah, uh, he's got his back to me. All right, come on. Yeah, he's, he looks like he's locked in. I'm trying to, I'm trying to like, I'm always trying to mess with the players a little bit if they're, if they're, if I'm in their line of sight, but I can't see that with Spooky right now, so. All right. Oh, no, one hit. Oh, yeah, there uh, Not quite. I think, or am I wrong? Never mind, I'm wrong. Close. Yeah, that's I think Spooky had to make like a very big adjustment for that defense. I have not seen him like uh, pop in the first fight like that. Still though, this is very, very interesting. Dude. There ain't much more to speak of. Like, someone's <laughs> yeah. gonna die or curse will end, and then you gotta figure it out. It's like the latter case is true. Really good blocks right there. I like the mix-up attempt right there from Spooky. Yeah. Are seeing it a bit of a different time from the shark uh, in order to like try to clip uh, Chris with the low there. Finally gets hit by the overhead. Blocked that so many times, but you can only block for so long against this character. Even without Curse, like, you're stuck in the corner. That could be a rough time. Yeah. All right, what a piece here. Both players have their overdrive still available. Oh, no, instantly spend that. All right, you're not getting this back this uh, this round, this game even. Yeah, and that's the tough part about dealing with Arakune. Mazama really likes curse. his overdrive. Yeah. And Arakune forces you to pop your first early. So when you're, like, power budget, so to speak, is like really focused on like I can click OD and really get it it's popping and you're forced to burst like it could be a bit rough here. Yeah, super should be okay. Just I was worried that would have killed. I always but. think it doesn't kill and then it does. Like fool that I am. <laughs> fool that I am. <laughs> fool that I am thinking that our Akune won't kill here. No, literally I'll be like, oh like I'm still alive last hit. I hear the king and I'm like, ah Damn. You got me, Jesus. It'd be like that. It'd definitely be like that. Arakune, uh, oh, man. This is one of those characters, like, I'm assured he's not, like, you know, top tier. He's got some weaknesses or whatever, man, but he does. I'll be damned if I can figure him out when I'm playing uh, Spooky, bro. Play, play a top. You watch Arakune play against, like, S, Kibiki, or, like, some of the top, top tier characters, yeah. and you're like, wow, this guy Wow, this character. <laughs> it's cathartic in a way. Yeah, yeah, that's that's true. I always do love uh, seeing our Kune players get cooked. Oh, oh right. say no meter behind it. Though. So yeah. you can't do anything off of it, but it's still like, you know, right. you, know you know, you're a little off that. Yeah, sometimes you gotta, you, see, you gotta put the fear of God in them a little bit. Oh, good tack. All right, spooky. That's pretty sweet right there. Azuma does have this active flow right here. Dog, you cannot. And there's there no it chains. is. There's no chains. There's no chains. So now, like, you have to understand, the fact that Chris didn't have any chains means that, like, oh, that is such a disaster. So, yes. Oh, how did you get away with that? Um, That's actually murder. That's such a crazy <laughs> thing. No! And you gave it up. Spacing? Dog, what's happening I here? Don't know. Spooky just scary. said, no, no, enough of this. I'm going to wake up with buttons. Hell this yeah. This is scary. But 100 meter Arakune, Azama with no burst. Probably gonna have burst available for next round, but this could very well be like perfect with this round. Uh, yeah, we got the meter too. There's, it doesn't even need to spend it. Doesn't even need it right here. Absolutely. No question, bro. Arakune looking real strong right now. Yep. Holding on to the burst too. Um, and you're right, Chris is gonna get this back momentarily. But you got a, you got a long way to go here. Early cancel on the chain. Yeah, that one that one gave me some whiplash too. It's I'm not gonna lie, the, bro. He did the C cancel, and I got so visually confused. 
because he goes behind you on the seat cancel, but the way he like stuttered in the air like actually like broke my brain. For yeah, I yeah. Got, like, really <laughs> Thought we were playing gear, just YRC for a minute. I was like, wait, yeah, literally, oh. literally, <laughs> literally a YRC moment. Yeah. I was like, oh, oh, the grinders, ah, oh, YRC, oh, YRC, my fault, bro. my fault. <laughs> I didn't mean to press a button. Yeah, Playing too much eggs there, dude. You can eat that button. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, yeah, and now it's Curse right, and yeah, the yeah, win yeah. condition has been fulfilled. Curse no burst, it's the worst! Oh no. One more, that should be it right That's here. We got the meter to spend, yeah. yeah oh, you're on cue with me. Don't My goodness. It. Don't need it. It's like we've seen this before. <laughs> it's, like, it's like we've seen Spooky <laughs> play in early bracket before. I've seen, look, I've seen, him, I've seen him drop. I've seen him drop. Yo, I've played against true. him when he drops. That's Beach true. episode, I literally looked at him and I was like, what happened? Because I was like, you almost, oh, who's yelling? <laughs> <But> anyway, like, <laughs> the last time we commentated here, we've been like slightly off the rails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I appreciate being able to have that with you every now and then. But, um, oh, okay, anywho, anywho. Oh my God, he has the he has the Rebu plush. Oh, okay. someone yo, did yo, comment yo, that yo, on, yo, the, peep, on the peep, stream peep chat, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I got the, very confused for a second. This is this is Shout the, the spooky Rebu. tech right here. Shout out to Rebu. Thank you as always. <laughs> <Boy, yeah. laughs> spooky says she was coaching me. Oh walks God. away in a tizzy. I love I it. Don't even understand. <laughs> I know. Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh. He has been on like the. He's been fiending for Fumos. I think there was like some other time where like uh, Fumos, the the little plushies there. Yeah, the Fumos. Oh, they're called Fumos. They're Fumos. Dude, I don't know anything yeah. about this anime thing, I've bro. Been, I, look, I've been on the internet too long. So <laughs> like, <laughs> so basically that's why like you'll see a bunch of memes around like Fumos and stuff. So you'll see the little Toho characters like. Yeah. And all that. I'll, I don't know. I'll show you a bunch of stuff. Toho is weird as a series in that like when you understand what it is mm. and like the internet culture around it, you realize that it's pervaded like too many places. This is the most that stereotypical tracks. anime commentary I've ever given in my life, talking about, like, Fumos and Toho. So I'm going to cut that out and <laughs> yeah, get, yeah, to, we're, we're, we're get to other <laughs> video games. But <laughs> uh, sorry, this, this, this fits perfectly for our 10-year-old Blaze Blue game that it, we're playing. It's, it's, it's okay. It's very on brand. We're I good. I usually have more, not decorum, that's not the word. No, nah, we're at Balance right. Patch, bro. This is, this is, this is about vibes is right now, and that's, that's why I love this venue so much. As you yeah. pull up, and you can tell right away, the vibes are good. The games are usually good. I mean, like, as you see right here, we got we got our Akune in the bracket. We're about to see Ezreal versus Ragna right now on stream, which, like, I don't know. You talk to some plays blue players, they might they might say that's a little so, sweet, but I love it. I so, think that matchup's fun. Okay, so this is one of the – it's a, it's not a litmus test. What's the word for it? Eddie oh – God. Okay, let me try to phrase this and not sound like a, a elitist. <laughs> all right, perfect. Like I'm ready. He's going to use stronger language. But yeah, I, yeah, yeah. You know. No, it's all right. I'm but, picking up what you're putting down. But, yeah, anywho. Um – Basically, it's one of those matchups where, like, offline, it's genuinely, like, slightly Ragna-like mm. favored. And for, like, literally the strength of Ragna's jab, his jab, is what changes so many aspects of the matchup. Because he's got a must fit much faster jab than Asriel, right? So, not even that. Not even that. Oh, um, Okay. So it's, is it the hitbox? Yes, it's the hitbox. That makes so sense. All right. the big thing with Asriel is that, you know, he obviously has Gustav, right? That's yes. like his infamous gap closer, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Gustav, my beloved, yeah. yes. Right, 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 like, can you IB Gustav? If not, GG sometimes. GG's, bro, But, yeah. like, Ragnar's 5A is such a great low committal check mm. against many of Asriel's approach options. Um, let me double check to see. Yeah, okay. Right oh, right yeah. I, I bet you could. Ooh, that's so like, kind of evil. I didn't think about it so like that. So the way yeah. and my. So let me explain how like Gustav works. Mm. So Gustav is like proximity based basically for right. like most of its duration. Yeah. So like at the very end of it, you know, he'll always do it if he reaches his maximum distance. But until then, the hitbox only like basically happens when you're like close enough to him. So you can get stuffed with sh yes. quick, fast, normal. So, okay. so certain jabs hmm. are like very good at stuffing it. And because Ragna jab is like so good, yeah. it has such a good like horizontal hitbox for it. Like it will check that. But even Asriel's other, like one of his other big approach options, his 6C, um, uh, Ragna 5A will check that very easily too. Mm. So it'll like usually 
trade. Oh, right, because yeah. that's got a ton of startup. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, so like, don't jump against it, but yeah. you will get jabbed out he'll, for a counter hit. It'll either trade or yeah. he can 5A, react, and see the fact that, like, it whiffed and Asriel's doing a 6C. Uh, mm. And then he can 6A instead and potentially counter hit. Jesus, really yeah. Good. All right, all right. But don't worry, though, because Asriel's 6C is one of the silliest <laughs> buttons I've ever dealt with. Oh, in. it's so, so silly. So here's the thing that I like to talk about it, because I yeah. discovered this this year. So we used to think that Asriel 6C was like plus two. It's not. Asriel 6C has variable frame advantage. That shouldn't surprise me, actually. Yeah. So all right. the problem is that. So think about it like this: Asriel 6C, he moves his leg like a clock. Yeah. Right. Once big big his, overhead kick yeah. puts him airborne. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Once that, once his leg is around like 11 o'clock, it's active until he lands, uh, meaning that if you crouch it and you block it, Azrael's like plus four. Yeah. And depending on your character's collision or hit, her box, yeah. he can just be like either like plus three or like plus five. Jesus, all right, so, so, he, so you have to know yes. your character versus Azrael. And this okay. is like recent news, mind you. So you really <laughs> have to like stand block it, and like that is like affected my matchups with Asriel in a very funny way. Yeah. We'll see if that ends up happening again. <gasps> oh, okay, that could have been so much worse. Yeah. Sorry, 5C started from Asriel. No, 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 I no, always no. has to be a little scared. Yeah, yeah, the problem with it again is like, despite it being a good fatal, like you basically have to fully commit before you even know if it's hit into a fatal round. Yeah. So that's why sometimes you'll see like 5C fatal goose off. Cause right, it's just, <laughs> yeah. it's just the basic sequence right there, right? Yeah. And then if it's a fatal RC, 3C, yeah, you have no, to be very preemptive if you want the damage off yeah. that. Oh, oh, that the frame travel with DP. That is extremely dangerous. Yeah, I, I think you can see that two, again. He's minus two, by the way. He's only minus two, and he's just optimal. Incredible, incredible. Oh, and we're going to get a throw counter here from, oh, uh, no, no, absolutely no damage and off. A, it, and a company in drop. What is happening? <laughs> this is such a weird thing. We are scrambling, bro. Got to get a little health back, Ragnar health, and oh, that DP should be from dead. That far. I'm going to yell at him. I'm going to yell at him. I love Ryder. I need to yell at him. <laughs> That's there funny. Was, uh, this is, these are both the players that you, you yes. say, I got to go yell at these cats right yes. now. <laughs> well, Aerodat, because like he is like, I don't know what it is, but Aerodat is just the like, eternal like baby brother status. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Ryder, because I'm like, I look at you. I know you can do these things. Yep. Why do you do this? Because <laughs> I'll talk to him. He's not like a. He's not. He's not an insane person. Oh no! Oh, God! Whoa, dude! That full wall bounce. Jesus Christ! Oh, geez, man, that could have been a lot worse. Block crap. Yeah, we'll take that. Oh my God! All right, this is gonna be uh, really good for Aerodad. He's gonna have to be like right up to like 95. percent This is pretty fantastic, actually. Yeah, now you're gonna deal with this Ragnar pressure. Oh, yeah, I would spend burst there too. That would have been a ton of damage otherwise, especially in the corner. Yeah. Plus, no IB, no. Oh, okay, gets the low E4 off the 2D. I will well actually on this one in that counter hit was Ragnar 60, which is one of those weird fatals that doesn't actually deal a lot of damage. It's weird. <laughs> yeah. It's weird, because sometimes you get counter hit, you see the fatal, you're like, well, I'm time to leave. Yeah. But it's it's one of those three cases. Oh no, missed the throw game. after. Yeah. Alright, so we got we got both of no low weak point is gone. Just the upper right now. And it looks like Aerodot wants to continue offense, but he just did the entire string. Oh my god. I like the fact that um Ryder started to use dive kick, but the patience there from uh, from Aerodat was more than enough to get a full punch. I hate the fact that Aerodat did spend meter to kill him. But I don't know if he could have done anything yell, without I, an awkward RC. I, every time we see Arrow down on stream, I find myself taking off the headset and screaming, Spend the meter! Because, watch, yeah. watch Beta Dude play and look at him do the worst combo note to mankind and win. <laughs> so much. I love that. I love those like, I Like, I remember playing the guy and I was like, Oh, okay, like the damage isn't that great. Yeah. I'm getting struck. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, I'm getting hit. Yeah. Sometimes it just happens. DP comes out once more. I forget if Ragna 2B or 3C low profiles on um, uh, as you A lot of things do, so yeah. it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. But I, I forget if um, Ragna has a specific option for that. I, I feel like I should remember off the top of my head, but it is what it is. Oh, good block in the 6D. Oh, this gets frame trapped by uh, 5C after, though. Interesting. And yeah. this should be. No, that's too active. All right. Counter assault to beat the Gustav again. There's that counter hit, the anti air 5A, excuse me. Yeah, so huge in this matchup you were talking I, about earlier. Yeah. This input, the DP there, probably was supposed to be DD because he can, like, ground bounce off of that for his OD routing. Let's see if that ends up changing the rest of this game. It just might. Scramble City, a DP comes out again, 50 meter for uh, for Ryder. Let's see if a DPRC comes out. 
in the purse too. Like if you, if you call out a good 6B right here, doesn't even need it. 5C Gustav, like you said, the, the normal progression, more than enough to kill right there. Yeah. Taking that first game for Ryder. So, All right. Yeah, there are times in which, so regarding Ryder's offense, there are yes. times in which Ryder would be like, okay, like, I'm just going to prod with 5C. Yep. But in certain scenarios, I think he can, like, up the aggression slightly. And then like run a 5B or something like that? Get closer? Uh, not even or that. Just like literally, literally just walk forward. Oh, Just okay. like walk forward 5C and then, like, 5C, 6C, perhaps, mm. right? Like, it's, and it's difficult. It's a very nuanced thing where, like, Certain scenarios, you can push the tempo a little more. Others, like, it's fine to, like, play it back. So it's hard to give, like, a universal, like, always do this or not. Despite having said that about Ryder's offense, right now it's, it's all defense. All right, reversal defense. super coming out here. Oh, that hit. Oh, I yep. saw the start of a 2A. I was worried that wouldn't, but here we are. Both weak points out. Good tech on the throw. Oh, just needs one more hit, though, and we're stuck in the corner. Oh, okay, yeah, spending the weak point for the good damage. And again, because of the super, weak points are still active right there, but despite that, another weird scramble into, like, a DPRC. Did you see, yeah, the RC right there? That was... I that. literally looked at Aerodat flash, and then I heard the RC noise, and I was like, <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> yeah. Smash that, oh, my God. Oh, 6B gonna connect right here, get a little overhead action in, and we are going to the corner one more time. Not really gonna have enough meter to do too much right here, but you're perfectly happy with the offense. Looking for the uh, delay tech right there with the 2-2-C. Not able to confirm, it's a little far away, but takes the plus range from the on-hit interaction. Right back into offense here, but... Yeah, yeah, that's gonna happen. Walsh flat with the Rekka. Oh, okay, going 6A instead of 6B right after. Yeah. Interesting. You, you well, that was those two? No, the 6B's the, the 6B's the uppercut. Yeah, but we saw that whiff right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. because um, Aerodad was too low to the ground. So if he, like, gets the ground hit, like, there are... Sorry, if he gets the wall down or whatever... Yeah, usually that's what he does. He did yeah. the 6A first, the shoulder charge, and that, yeah. that's, what, that's what threw me off, uh, oh, doing wait, that one first. Oh, he kill? Oh, he the reset, the reset off the 6... Yeah. Or, uh, 5B, the 5B, excuse yeah. me, yeah. He, Oof. I think, realized that it might furry too much or if he, he wouldn't get the meter. Actually, I wonder if he did 5B and buffer. Uh, that be Jesus kick, dude! I don't... I can count on one hand the number of times I've seen Rag so, 5B with Punisher. Oh, nice. As a little 5C is a really good button because... See how in the startup he winds back? That does retract his hurtbox slightly. Like, of course. So there are, like, very specific ranges in which, like, these two characters will want to sit at yeah. in order to play it. Like, this is a matchup where, like, footsies can occur. Oh, I'll say can. Place, I'll say can occur. It's weird, right? Like, <laughs> not in the... It's, it's hard to describe. Yeah. I'll get into it after this. This is, this is going to be a wild ride. Good RC. Oh, man. Oh, he did nothing right there, and uh, still ended up eating food. Whoa, what a clash. Okay. There's the 6B. Oh, we got the confirm off it, too? Oh, the blue beat? Oh, the delay oh, okay. Good awareness. Hey, we're close enough to the wall. We're wrecking Will Wall Splat. We're going to get the kill, blue beat or not. We're going to take that. That was 2-0. That oh, was 2-0 wow. for Ryder. Oh, my that goodness. Yo, I, my I, dog is leveling up, dude. Yeah. Yo, Boston Blue Beat champion over here for Accent Core coming in at uh, doing some. Uh, no, doing it, was, some uh, it was Melty. It was Melty. Yeah, Accent Core. Or, or, you gotta, melty. You gotta get your extensions. You gotta get your extensions oh, out man. there. Yeah. You gotta, dude, Current code, code. Not a CC, CC. Not AC. Not AC. CC, yeah. Not I got the code AC. part right. Yeah. I just got screwed up. Yeah. yeah, yeah not yeah. air conditioning. We are, oh. we are putting more people on the email. <laughs> We're putting more people on the email. You understand? We're gonna hit reply all the now on chat. Oh god. Oh, that happened a man. few times. I'm at, back. Uh, that happened yeah. a few times at work. Like it happens to happens to the best of us. No, because it was a, it was like a company what it doesn't matter. Yeah. Anywho, yeah. Anywho. We have all had a reply all yeah. the But yeah, it's he, all good. Uh, but he did the damn thing. Um I remember it so specifically because I uh it was it was Saturday and it was a Sunday. I don't even remember the day. Anyway, I like I sat and played writer. Yep. And I looked at him, and I was like, it was Saturday. I remember, and I played him, I said, Ryder, don't even worry about it. You got the juice. You got the <laughs> I juice. I looked at him, I was like, you got, I was like, you got the juice, man. He's like, no, I really appreciate it. I can't do it. Hold on, I got to do a Ryder one. <laughs> I got to do this one. Anyway, he said, like, I really appreciate it. Yeah, I can't there it is. My voice is yours. That was close enough. <sighs> I, I could do that. But he was like, he was like, you know, I really appreciate that, this, this, and that. Yeah. And I looked over, and like, like watching Barlow play against um, uh, Rikis, and I'm like glancing over, and like, what's happening at CC? And, like, this, this, and that. And he, I'm watching him beat Sean, I'm like, yeah! And then uh, I was talking to Skellington, 
because he was like, Smoothie's got this. Mm. And I was like, I believe in Ryder. Hold up. Yeah. And then uh, Ryder ended up doing really, really well. And I was like, yes. And I got yeah. to talk shit. It was oh, great. <laughs> and I even talk. better. You always, you always need great. that silver lining up top. It was so top. great. It was funny. All right. Uh, this is yeah. the match we were hyping up a little bit earlier. Science Cat versus Chemical Jade. Science Cat um, traditionally has had the edge here. But Jade, I think Jade's leveled up a lot since the last time she played Science Cat. So I, I'm super excited to see how this is gonna, this is gonna play out. Yeah. We got the we got the pink outfits here going too. So All right. Princess Bubblegum and Panty uh, Stocking. <laughs> no, that's not the right one. It's the, the different color for the Panty and Stocking reference. Okay, okay. She does, she does have a Panty and Stocking reference color. I believe you. It's the villains in that show. It's like, the, it's the red one with blue hair. I'm not colorblind, I know it's pink. <laughs> <laughs> we got it, it's That's all good. That's not even good. how the red, green, colorblindness works. Don't worry about that too hard. Anyway. You need two, you need, hold up, you need two emotes for Y to Weedo? That's crazy, I love it. Uh, yeah, we've had that one. <laughs> yeah. It's all good, we're, we're, we're just gonna keep going on the coconut way train right now. Jesus Christ, Because yeah. this is all the Science Cat show right here. About to even up this life lead. Good check on the teleport. Jade had a lot of success on that against Jackie Sparkles, getting the teleport out of the corner. <gasps> Hello, we got a way out though. There's a, we got the plan. That's an awkward OG. Jumps out of the seed, thankfully, gets out of the way. Fairy set up right there. Science Cat wants to respect it, doesn't want to get clipped randomly. Air unblockable. Too. Wait, hold on. Not enough. Oh yeah, I was so sure that was gonna kill. All right, you get a mix up off this, I believe. Yeah. There's a Gravitron. Oh, okay. Why okay. not the C gets it done? Three C though. moment, again, yeah. Woo! All right, deep breath. It's all good. I uh, I thought Jade was gonna steal that one, but nope. It is gonna be Science Cat that comes in with the highway robbery one more time. Reset, trying to press the five A. Three C connects again. Working just by the burst. Yeah, not want to get locked out of the corner here. I don't know, dude. I don't know. You gave up? Okay, no, 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 no. Gets the counter pump. We're we're all good. I was a little worried on the. Uh, the side switch shenanigans we're getting now. Now you gotta watch. Whoa, that was really precise. That's a really bold play right there from yeah. Science Cat to be willing to still. So, like, that sequence of going into the, like, the 236B and like popping the Graviton is really good. I'm shocked that he just barely got out of the way. Of yeah, that, that was, was great really movement. cool. Great movement right there. Um, and that being said, Nine is still controlling this. Oh, no. Okay, all right. I think that was a no. That was a combo. That, okay, that was that not was a full combo. confirmed. That that was not a full. That, confirmed. There was a reset. She in there. dropped okay. after the five C and then crimson. The crimson hits twice. Okay, that's why that happened. That's yeah. why that that said two hits. But it right looked there. like okay. it was supposed to be confirmed. But in reality, oh. it was a lot. It, I saw. I thought there was enough of a gap there, but I saw the heat too, and I got I, real confused. It's all good, brother. Don't worry right. about it. We're chilling. Here we go. One round a piece here. Time for mix. I just Same play side. First. Oh, Big crush trigger. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's a that's a rough spot to be in. And gonna get reset on the uh, the. Uh, yeah, drop the micro dash. I'm assuming for the route there. Grab on good point quite enough. Burst is soon to be available, but dead before it even there even is a chance of popping it. Yeah, that, yeah. Good stuff not dropping that because, like you said, you you drop that right there. That's burst coming back right there. Um, yeah, instead lock that out, guaranteed. And, yeah, and Science Cat just barely didn't have enough meter to just like pop a super to like keep it. Oh shoot, true. So, I wasn't even looking at the mirror. Yeah, yeah, he had to just commit to the rest of that confirmed there. So. Good oh, on. I love the check of the the, uh, the spin to win right there. All right, here we go. Doesn't block the rock. Of course, we all been there before. Pops oh, freeze. I really like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, not trying to let um, uh, Jade get away with anything there. That seed does have like a big gap, like if she's popping it's it there. It's got some hefty startup. Yeah. yeah. So Jade, like in that attempt specifically, is probably trying to just like look for people to respect the string there. But in reality, like we might see Science Cat start to fuzzy jump a few times in yeah. there, just to like test the water and see what's up. And we uh, saw Science Cat get get out of that in the in the first game, I think, uh, a few times actually, just navigating right out of that. Um, I understand why Jade's going for that though, because like if you look at the start of these rounds, Jade builds the snowball real fast. Like the rounds that um, Science Cat's able to steal back, he's, excuse me, they're they're stealing them back. Oh, Amethyst, how you are so active and you're still in the you think that in your mind. Not a true high low mix up right there, just due to the, the setup being a little awkward, but still secures the knockdown, and that's oh. a left right on top of that, by yeah. the way. Uh, the teleport will steal the corner away, so she can do that. And just hit you with the left right. 
It's just messed up. <laughs> that is messed up. It really is. Jade's going to take the perfect to get game two as well. All right. This just turned into a hype match. Um, I, I, I'm glad you said something about fuzzy timing earlier because yeah. I'm pretty sure Jade's been switching up the, uh, the timing between. I think it's 2B. That's Her fire moves are B, right? It's uh, Our, so, so her uh, water moves are A, wind yep. moves are B. Fire wind moves, moves are B. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what it is. So 2C then it was. Switching up the timing of 2C versus rock, right? Like trying try to mess up your fuzzy timing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, it's, I think it's... It's, you normally will see it with 3C. Uh, or maybe that's 3C like I'm thinking of. Yeah. It's hard to tell because 3C looks more like a weird little carpet and 2C looks very similar, so it's hard to tell. Genuinely. Yeah, I, I, it will take maybe several more years before I start recognizing 9 Don't we'll see. I have not hit by this character enough times. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. All right, Science Cat. Okay, sets up the Gravitron, and we're just going to get right out. We've seen Jade spend the early burst a few times, so it doesn't surprise me to see the early counter assault just trying to make that space. And I mean, this is why right here. Jade's doing really well in neutral. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, blocks the seat. Trying to deal with a couple of the people almost there. I don't know if that was intentional, if Jade was really expecting Science Cat to go low or not. Set point. One more. One more for Chemical Jade right here. Again, this determines who gets into winner's finals. Oh, God, yeah, we're, 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 we're in winner's finals territory already. That's right. You know, when, you get a, when you get a little bit of a small bracket, it's instant. It's instant. Oh, we're playing for keeps. Oh, no. Yeah, leaving the... Oh, not quite needy right there with the, um, uh, the mix-up option. So despite the pillar being there to cover, the dash ends up getting out of it. It's projectile. Oh, wow. Oh, we get to confirm off the fire rain, too? Hell yeah. That's a pretty good freestyle, actually, for uh, comboing back into that. Right? That was kind of crisp. Jay's been oh, putting the work in, dog. I've been saying, here we Rabbit go. Rabbit taunt, my beloved. Once again, Jade spends that burst. You got a round lead. You might as well give it a shot. Plenty yeah. of meter to play with here. I don't think we're going to see the neutral spend, uh, at least meter-wise. Jade's playing this so solid, using these air dashes to navigate the, the screen pollution that she's trying to put on the screen. Counter assault again. Yep, get off me. And I think that Science Cat's using a pretty decent, like a pretty reasonably good, like, sequence of options. Yeah. You see the JA coming out a lot more, like the multi hands. Yep. Uh, that move is very, very good just due to how active it is. That one so, right, yeah, there. Yeah. right there. So you'll see that, like, Science Cat is using that to try to, like, catch J, like, approach it a little too far. We've so, seen a couple good rising JAs, too, to catch one. Exactly. But Jade is playing it back a little bit, which makes it a bit more difficult to go for that. And even then, it's difficult right now for Science Cat to engage. We might see a timeout straight up happen right now. Oh, five Jade seconds. can just play for time, but the JA will seal the deal. I always forget that's JA, dude. That looks way too big to be a JA, bro. Way too big to be a Trust JA. Trust me, I, I, don't <laughs> I don't disagree. I don't disagree. Yeah, especially if you're playing Bullet. Oh, my God. Yeah, so, I didn't even think about that, dog. Yeah, so it's more that, like, um, let me put this in a more general sense. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah. Otherwise, I, I, when yeah, I you first can talk started, that smack. It's okay. No, 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 it's not that. It's not that. It's not that. When I first started to commentate, please, I just talk about. I'd, I'd find some way to talk about Bullet and talk about her for like 20 minutes. <laughs> Hell yeah. I can only do that so much. But um, I know that game. Yep. Yeah, yeah. JA in general is like a very big, um, meaty button for nine to like throw out in certain scenarios, and there's a lot of times in which you'll see a nine do like IED JA. Yeah. Um, just to like kind of get over certain options, but one thing that most characters can do, uh, most characters have some sort of low profile option for IEDJA. Mm. So, for example, like oh. Naoto can, uh, you can do like, he can like 2A, 2B. Mm. So the 2A will cause the JA to whiff, and if he happens to make contact, you'll Gatling into 2B. Yep. The 2A whiffs, and Let's be honest. You can match that 2B if you want to. Afterwards. <laughs> yeah. Like, you can you can clip nine after the fact and like start forcing J2A, uh, which is one that hits below her. I forget if that's slower or not, but it's just a nice thing you can do. And a lot of characters have like some crouching normal available to like go like, hey, stop that. Yeah. You know. Um, stop IEDing in yeah. a way every time. But yeah. um, for Science Cat, there, it was weird. To, uh, not weird necessarily, but it was difficult for him. Because he, you know, I think the air movement was reasonable, yep. but I think he had a very hard time pushing Jade to the corner, as well as transitioning into, like, uh, more space coverage options. Like, it was the JAs, and that's cool, but, like, unable to set a graviton and put, like, Fireball on the screen, for example, to, like, stay on the ground and maneuver in a different way, or yeah. set up a pillar to move a different way around, right? Like... 
there's a lot of things that kind of go on with like some of the movement that you can do to achieve certain like space and goals in this. Um, our Kune matchups usually are full of that for both our Kune <laughs> and his opponent. Yeah. Uh, how much effort it is for both sides, truly the best. Like S, she can just click JBB and the world turns. Oh yeah. S just does S things. First thing coming, by the way. Yeah, I was gonna say he ran right into the cloud right at the beginning, and that was that was all you needed to see right there. Okay, interesting use of growler. We got we got the uh, fireball stock now, I suppose. You're a bold oh Don't goodness! You. You're still in first for just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a while longer. Uh, Not gonna kill. But this is probably bell bug afterwards to set it up. It makes it a very awkward scenario where you can force him to take the bell. Yeah. Uh, and then you kind of just have to sit there and get it. Oh no! That's that had to have been a misinput. Yeah, I did not want fireball right there. I forget the input for fans, so I'm not sure. Oh, so you can link 6A, 6B there. Okay, he yeah, just yeah, messed yeah. it up last time. That it's, really it's, screwed it's, me it's, up. It's height dependent, basically. That's what it so is. So if they're okay. high enough and it's like early enough that like your insulin scaling is fine, like you can't do that. It's just, uh, I'm so used to seeing like wreck up 6B instantly, right? It's just I, I yeah, it's not used to it. The Growler again, okay. So we put some work into this matchup, it seems. All right, all right, Ryder. I'm not gonna lie, uh, it's a weird mix. The Growler is really dangerous, because- Oh, Ar super dangerous, yeah. Because Arcune could very well just beat you, and I think Aerodad is effectively, like, succeeding in a lot of gambles and going for it. In Rider? that the bug is making Ryder, yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's all good. God, did I say Spooky? No, you said Aerodad. Oh my god, I'm, oh, <laughs> why did I, I you, you got your son on the mind, it's I all good. Yeah, yeah, Anywho, yeah. a Ryder, woo! Well, oh god, hold on a second. That Don't was mash! so scary! Why are you oh, mashing? Got the DP at a curse, too, that was the, oh man. All right, we're going for it right here. Awkward clash, gonna take the IAT. Is this gonna be close enough for wall splat? No, not quite, we're gonna take the meaty 6B, or 5B, excuse me, I can feel that. Oh, no! No, really thought that was gonna hit and already canceled it to the uh, the 3C right there. And that is gonna get punished by Arakune. The tongue, the tongue, oh no, such a great answer here. What is that, 3C, 2C? It's 5C. That's 5C? That's his 5C? All right, you're probably right, I trust you. I lie sometimes. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, that is his 5C. Okay. His 2C is shark, his 3C is like a really, really weird level. Okay. And his 6C is the low crush. Yeah, that's, that's his five star. It's one of those buttons that, like, you know, like I yammered on about like DPs being slow, and as right. a result, like we yeah. were exactly. Five C is like that, where it's extremely slow, but it's head and bone for like the whole duration. <laughs> I saw how late that hit. Yeah, he was almost on the ground. Yeah, again. so sometimes yeah. you'll just land and be like, oh, I didn't make contact with him. What? Oh well. Then you good. realize that like he did five C, and then you just get hit. Yeah. He's like, oh, gonna start gallowing right there. All right, corner steal. Oh, okay, so we'll take a weak point there. Into the mix, too. Okay, Spooky does not block the cross up. And this should be, you know, doubling down on the high weak point right here. 5D's gonna connect to Needy again, and we're gonna burst that. that. That had to have been OD, right? Did not want that um, burst. I can't tell, honestly. I would assume that it, meant, it was meant to be OD. So I, I will agree with you, honestly. Because normally... Yeah, a little too high up there for the, the distortion drive to hit, but Ryder is still gonna take the reset right there. Yeah, that scared the hell out of me, bro. I wish y'all could have seen Toledo's face after that. I don't that even was... want to call it a happy. <laughs> that was just that was just drops in the mirror. That doesn't it. combo on Croucher like that. Uh, Not uh, with that starter, Ryder, please. Uh, uh, Ryder, please. How did you trade off that? Oh my God, Spooky is oh, pressing right now, it. brother. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. You're yeah, fine. It's all fine. Oh, You're Spooky is pressing, dude. 50 meter, if you don't drop it, this is dead. Spend it. Oh, Spend it. what? I don't disagree with the. Oh, no. This is at least in the full curse level. You might drop the combo. <laughs> I'm so mad. DPRC so, right off the bat. So here's the thing about that reversal super. It's yes, one of the talk to me about that reversal super. So if you are in the corner, I forgot how close you have to be in the corner. When that reversal super hits, Arukune can ride in the full curse from that. Oh, I hate it. I hate that so much. <laughs> oh, no. Man, we gotta stop giving Arukune players things, bro. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I've never seen you so instantly make a face of, like, general. That was like. That's disgusting. That was You're like. You witnessed something, like, in public and were like. <laughs> that was. That was 
I'm saying, bro. I, I see our Kune in public, and my face goes like that. That's all I'm no, 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 it's fine. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. We're gonna start talking like DGF. DGF has gone through enough. That's a that's a man that's earned his stripes on that. One. <gasps> no punish off the full yeah. MTP. That was so scary. Oh my goodness. I don't think our Kune's dash would be fast enough. You'd have to like awkwardly space like a walk up or something. Yeah, like, that's it's, true. Huh? It's just a weird spacing, just due to the timing of when he was like, okay, dude, why did you do it? Oh my god. Sometimes see how, you, you see how we got it. the 5D afterwards? Yeah. If you're in the corner and like you're towards the corner, like you can just do a full route. Okay, we don't okay. believe in the lies. No. We got out of there. Ryder might honestly just like rob this. It's, this could go, yeah, negative warning. Ah. Negative penalty hasn't popped yet. He has Not to back yet. up a little more for that. Okay, full curse is set up, so now it's just a matter of time. Matter of time. Okay. Dude, I... <laughs> <laughs> that whole last 10 seconds just had my heart going, bro. That was that was a little much for me. Um, this this is a set point for Spooky right now, but Ryder is like doing a good job on capitalizing on these like awkward scramble situations, Flight landing a lot of IADs. Gonna get the pick up on the JA here too. Here we go. Spooky forced to place the defense. 6D connects. That's a weak point and a fat stack of damage right here. Possibly one more hit if you want to spend the meter. There's the throw. We have enough to kill. Please, I beg of you, do not leave any damage on the table. It's going to be the burst. Getting that burst is actually really good. Huge it's for actually, next uh, round. That's actually really fantastic for Ryder. All he has to do, and I'm cursing this right now, is not get cursed. <laughs> not get cursed. And just take the round. And now we are. DJB. And now we are in a very good position. So when it comes, when you play Blaze Blue, you gotta be really mindful of these like inter round resources. Yeah. Because that can greatly change how so many things work. And Spooky in particular is a player that thrives with Arakune's OT. Oh yeah. So him depriving himself of that option is a lot. That's like for what is the last round of this game. This yes. is it. Winner moves on. Oh, yes. another big balls DP. 16 connects again. Just gonna take a side switch off of it. That's okay. And I'm not gonna lie, so Ryder typically does 5C into 63D. Yeah. I don't think Spooky has realized that yet. No, 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 that's had a pretty high hit confirm rate, but that being yeah. said, Curse is about to, then that should Trigger. be it right there. Yeah, yeah, Curse's effect, and this is gonna kill anyway, so Curse isn't even really a factor there. Damn, dude. Yo, Ryder, like, Jokes about scrambling aside and like dropping DPS. That was a that, that was a pretty strong showing from Ryder. I don't usually see him coming that close against Spook. I need him to be better. You what? <laughs> I believe him. you. You got some you got some opinions you want to share with the class? Um, I think he did solidly. I think there's a lot of places in which he can do better. Yep. Um, but I think that's a matter of review and like taking a look at some things. For sure, uh, for sure. Altogether, I will say, of course, not to be a grouchy old man mode, um, not like fumbling despite things getting scrambly or mm. weird, and not like completely crashing is still good in and of itself. Ryder is not often the player I would think of that. Um, when Ryder cracks, it's not usually like crazy, crazy nerves. It's usually like certain things aren't working and then he's like dude like i have no idea what to do yeah it's it's like one of those things which is like similar sounding but it's it's meaningfully different mm. um but yeah before we get into our next set uh we should let you guys know of a couple of cool things happening in boston um it is a boston blue beat stream so we will be uh talking about ourselves primarily we have our monthly that is coming up on uh, october 19th that's the um, one. So it will feature the usual games for y'all folks. Oh, yeah. CF, Undernight, Grand Blue, Exert, the works. Um, so this will, again, be at Balance Patch, same place, same time. You already know where to find us. Um, and this is the weekend after ECT, too. So if you're already pulling up and you want to stay a little while extra long, you know, pull up for the local. Um, it's yeah. always good vibes here. You got it available. Um, and additionally, uh, as always, we have our uh, online uh, brackets going on. Yeah, that's so, right. We're back. Yep. Monday, we will still have Blaze Blue. Tuesday, we'll still have Plus R. Wednesday, <laughs> we'll still have Under Night. So we will have plenty of games to work with. Yep. Uh, but yeah, which should be pretty good. So I'm assuming that we are doing winners finals right now. So this, yeah. uh, I think, is going to be plus some. Yeah, that's going to be yeah, this is definitely winner's Jade finals. versus Spooky. All right, so we, we talked up um, the, the opportunity for some of these players to make a top three run. Jade is already guaranteed a top three minimum. Aerodap, 
just beat Science Cat and Losers to deny a top four. Ryder's gonna play Jack Sparkles to crack Losers semis. Um, this, this is gonna be an interesting rest of the bracket right here. Uh, we, we've already seen Ryder give a pretty good game to Spooky. We will see if Jade can also uh, conquer another, another demon here, so to speak. Already beat Science Cat, really fun set. We will see what the uh, what the with the uh, matchup knowledge here how that has evolved because I believe last time we saw Jade and Spooky play it was pretty one sided if I remember correctly but um, I don't know this this still very much could go either way yeah and again it's winners finals we get a little bit of room to breathe sit back relax yeah, crack open a can if you got it available mm -hmm. we'll be at this for uh, God knows how long these players sometimes you see like the longest set. Uh, go on or, or some other stuff so we'll see what's up here but uh <laughs> well, he teleport. I, I hate, walk forward to start I hate that so no that's one of his specials oh that's a special oh wait no he didn't do a special wait, did, I forget actually I'm, right. so, I'm so annoyed we'll, we'll hit that training mode yeah. after we'll see what's what so he has like a few moves that are like weird fake out movement ones. Yeah. So there's one where like that's that it's okay, you think it's special. Okay. Where if you come so into contact with him, he will put you in the spider web move that he usually does when he's like confirms. I hate it. Okay. And then that leaves you the full curse. Um other ones are will like have him move forward slightly and then teleport. He's against the wall, so he can teleport to get back into mid screen if he chooses, but I think he just doesn't want to end up getting like clipped out of that I am uh Jade right now. I like the uh, the delay on the, the the rising button there from Jade, like trying to get the hit confirmed, but also kind of OSing that to make sure you get pressure after. All right, nice little uh, little micro detail. Oh no, but you ate one hit. Never mind, drop again. Yeah, it might be Jover. This might be Curse. No, it's Curse. What am I saying? This is Curse. This is definitely it's Curse. Dangerous scenario. Oh yeah, I, I've been hit by that one before. That's uh, that's not fun. You jump up, waiting for the overhead, you get meaty by the low. That's. All right, Kune moment for sure. All right, now we're getting into round two. 5A to start things out. Let's see, we're already back in. We saw Jade spend the counter assault early like last time. I'm wondering if we're gonna see that keep going because like full screen is kind of Arakune territory, right? Um, it's uh, it's a weird mixed bag. Yeah, so, especially in this matchup, I feel like yeah, that does yeah. get very volatile. So it's it's less the volatility and more it's like the way the tools interact are a little weird. Um. Hold on a second, we're, we're gonna get into some pretty wild territory. Oh, see, it gets made at that time. Spooky's gonna bait the counter assault. Yeah, the EA right there and uh, with him is pretty disastrous. Well, that was for, EA, um, I'm sorry, not counter assault. My bad. So the, the EA uh, not working out there can be tragic because Spooky lands a curse, there's no first available for Jade. Um, that's like, when are you OD against our Kune, that's like, I'm making a bet on myself. Yeah. Like, and that comes with all the pros and cons of it. <laughs> yeah, we're looking at one of the cons come up right now. Curse is the big con for sure. And we're going to put it up Moth. Interesting. Oh All right, Moth is coming out. This is Godzilla territory. He likes bro, Moth. You know, it, it, this is spooky. This is where we're, we're going to play the meme game sometime. How did she get her? Wow. <laughs> I don't know if she popped active flow right there. I like blinked and her OG was back, and I felt so confused. Yeah, I wasn't ready for the, uh, the corner I, steal there. I have not seen her. I've not seen Nine come back to me. That like actually has before. Genuinely. Oh, okay. Puts out the skull. That much ends up getting done with him, unfortunately. It's just one of those things where like you can oh. you can cause a like things to side switches to happen or something. Right there. All right. It successfully navigates plant that time. Like, oh, Jay's working out of perfect right now. Oh my goodness, I wasn't even looking at the life bars. Damn, bro. Hold on. We've got a couple more mix-ups. Oh Potential yeah. Potential counter assault. I'm curious. Jade's being a little more judicious for that, I think. There's the burst. All right, you had to. You had to try something there, but it's going to be the laser beam to seal it off. Jade has taken the first game, but like you said, this is winner finals. This is first of three territory. We got some We got some leeway to play with here. And I'm not going to lie. Yeah. That was not a reaction. <laughs> Jade, for all intents and purposes, full center read and was like, yep. you know what? You're I bet you're going to do something here. Yeah, she was likely betting on Cloud or, like, Spider. And she was like, I'll just kill you, I guess. Yeah. Right, we'll, just, we'll just make the guess. Give it a shot. I got the meter. That I just is, took your burst. I'll that give was it a definitely shot. a screwy ball. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a press from Spooky. All right, yeah, we'll take that. 
Because I think they accidentally, they like swap sides really awkwardly. Yeah. That was like a Dragon Ball moment. You see a lot of a lot of awkward like falls in Dragon Ball like uh, that. Whoever hits the ground first just kind of gets impressed. Yeah. All right. Jailing and CF can sometimes work along those lines. Mm -hmm. um, where like on certain characters you can still uh, keep them above you depending on which buttons you're using. Yeah. And then like either side swap around them, but usually you'll just like try to drop some things and then go about your day. Good blocks from Smoothie here. Ah, <laughs> there it is, the wind, the full screen. Oh, what did you whip right there? That could have been much worse. I'm not too sure. Whoa, Rock ends up clipping Smoothie out of the sky. Seeds back up, it's clipped by the low right after the overhead. Whoa, we're out. No, never mind, not enough. Rock gonna get the full ground bounce here for the, uh, oh, corner it's like steal. The, it's like the Mafia makes dog, like, you can never really get out. You really can't. You really can't. You're either gonna get locked up, just when I thought I was out, they, they get me back in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Doesn't block that one. Gonna block the, uh, the, the overhead attempt after. Though. I love the 2B. I hate the 2B. Whoa, that's a place where throw. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. All right, Jay's got this combo locked in. No drops allowed. We're gonna get the reset. Hello, another one. I oh, spooky. Was that a roll attempt? This is truly the ice you can stand on the phone. It's gonna Yo. kill before first is available. This is the snowball character, but that's the character that just snowballed two real quick rounds in a row. God uh, damn, bro. It's like, uh, wow. It's like Frosty the Snowman getting caught in a friggin' I was snowball rolling down the hill. I wasn't gonna say that. I was gonna try to use algebra but then that was going to be like really stupid um, <laughs> it's like you ever play line rider no oh sorry <laughs> sorry to disappoint you <laughs> that actually that's actually good right listen here. Toledo. here's the thing about that's me so if, if the game's actually. not called deadlock then i haven't played it i'm, my, I'm completely deadlock brain poisoned bro i haven't played fighting games in a week and a half <laughs> I need help. <laughs> I need help, Toledo. This is, this is a desperate cry for help. Somebody come to my house and delete Deadlock off my hard drive, so please. I'm if you, you said I need help and said nothing, I would have started crying. Right? <laughs> because I like couldn't see your expression, and you have a jovial tone. And so just saying I need help, I need dead help. pen into nothing, <laughs> would have actually fried me. But that's okay. We will, we will update the routine momentarily. First coming out here, Spooky trying to update his own uh, gameplay for this one right now. And it's like Spooky's losing to the screen pollution now. Once again, we're just turning all the tables. The burst to stay alive right here, hero burst. Okay, we're gonna get the punish though. Mm, not enough, not, no, it's just Mike Vogue Curse. Yeah. If that if Arakuna eats you off of, like a standard confirm, it's curse unless it drops. Okay. Like okay. straight up. Crazy. It, yes, yes it is. That's crazy. That's bro. why sometimes you'll see people jab and then it's just, all right, bursting. See ya, yeah. Because this jab will still confront into it. Mind you, and uh, I have to be very honest, Arakune's BNB is maybe one of the hardest in the game. I believe that. I've heard like, it's up there with like Falcon High BNB. Yes. Yeah. Well, Val BNB, uh, Val BNB, you can make it easier. But it's like 2,000 damage though, right? Uh, Isn't it like top water damage? So it's... It's one of those cases where, oh my god, I've been watching too much Yu-Gi-Oh. Hold on, okay, I'll explain why I said that okay. in a moment. All I'll right, explain right. why I said that in a moment. You're gonna see the through line, yeah. and you're gonna be like, Jesus Christ, Toledo. You're such a dork, but you're so freaking right. And I'm gonna all look right. at you, and I'm gonna say, I know! All right, all right, I'm oh, here god, for it. Again. Hold on a second. Wait, no, 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 wait, no, wait, no, the bug's not away. Oh, that's such a good cloud to get. That cloud is actually so messed up because look at how much built up. I was going to say, he up. just came out of curse yeah. and it's already yeah, back yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. So because Spooky rolled the right cloud and it was the cloud that tracks you and Jade was stuck in the corner and he happened to have decent Oki, um, that resulted in that scenario. Yeah, dangerous state, but we, we got bugs on the screen. All right, so you know in Yu-Gi-Oh! You yeah. know in Yu-Gi-Oh! were like... Someone summons a monster and attacks. Yeah. And they're like, but you only have 2,000 attacks. There's always an effect. There's, There's always, always something effect. to it. There's always an effect. So while Valk BNB doesn't deal that much damage, mm. it's the fact that the corner carry is fantastic, and then that man is going to 50 50. That's like true. All right. Like I, the Oki on it is still reasonably good enough that you're going to get hit with like some wolf break hits. I, um, I do still get PTSD from dealing with the 50 50s from uh, from yeah. uh, Barlow. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's But um. Wild. 
Oh, we got we got the clock. Oh, here we go. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you don't see that very often. All right. Well, no, we're just the meaty. Yo, this is set point. Yeah, it doesn't often like connect. Like you'll see the yeah. spell come up, but it, yes. it like yeah. usually it'll get disrupted because it goes away on on hit, right? And block. I, I forget if it, I always forget if it goes away on block. I think it goes away on block, but don't but quote it, me on that. But it does go away on hit definitely. Yeah. Um, so it can deal like obscene amounts of damage during such. Dude, Jade is just snowballing right here. Okay, combos into Seed. Spooky's got the burst, but like... Uh, there it is. No, I think that one was... You had... Uh, no, that was still a guess. The scenario surrounding is different, but... The wall... CA doesn't connect. Spooky manages to maneuver around Jade, somehow cornering her with Curse as well. Very little resources on deck for Jade, so she's not going to be even able to build up for a, like, a potential CA soon. DP oh. is available, but it, is, it would be disastrous. Like, yeah, um, and especially the way Spooky like does the... Uh, that was even more disastrous yeah. from the first there. Especially the way Spooky does like the, the fake jump outs and the coming back down. Like, yeah, you're, you're, you're gambling your life away if you're, if you're risking or not DP right there. I Guy fake out is, is something else. Oh, it's awful, yeah. Oh, big 6C, though. That's going to be a fat hit. All right. Jade's going to take that. Spooky oh. held out to the burst, though. And that's a free curse with uh, with OD, pretty Dropping much. that is so tragic for Jade, because she might have honestly been able to draw out Spooky's move to reverse with the results in offense. DP doesn't end up connecting well for Jade here. That means that she is now in curse 50 meter to work with. Yeah. Potential reverse is super CA to come out, but clip by the mix first things first. Instant overhead is blocked, cross up is blocked. The second one ends up connecting. No more curse to work with. Can't kill off of the rest of this confirm. Off from the no, bell bug to keep it safe. Most oh. of the curse super. Probably realized that, uh, Speedy probably realized the scenario here. Pops the off. Yeah, it's, I mean, you go into, you go into OD right there. It's it's almost instant curse, especially with the bar was already so, that Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. let me explain Arakune curse. This is really weird. Yeah. So if Arakune has any, any curse, yep. and he pops OD, it is instantly curse. Instantly. If he does not have the curse gauge filled up at all, all actions double the amount of curse gauge. Oh, I thought it builds it passively. Okay, then no, 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 it's no. the double. So That's it'll right. it'll right. it'll double it, and then the curse gauge lasts longer too. That's messed up. I hate it. Yes. I hate it so much. So right. like the reason why I love Spooky's OD it doesn't burst like a fool <laughs> is that like the so see the curse timer right there. Yeah. Now it's speeding up again. Like that's oh, because he's out of OD. Yeah, yep. yes, okay, that makes up. sense. It's very messed up. It's so, so good. That's how fast it built. He got like two specials and that was it, bro. You oh. have no guard gauge. You can't block. You can't block anymore. You can't block. You can't block. This is so dangerous. Oh, 5C ends up connecting. See, dude, that head and bone is ridiculous. I saw the startup. She was up here. It hit. She's down here and you're dead. That's it. Damn, bro. That is so dangerous to be in danger state against Arakune because oh, you yeah. will get hit with one air block the whole move, and that's just instant curse just for existing. Instant. You already get cursed for existing, so like it can be difficult oh, sometimes. Man. Well, depending on the matchup, I will add nuance and not be too rude. Oh. Oh. Ooh, did you just right. guess on the throw there, or was that a reversal for a time? That was crazy. I don't know how much Spooky has been playing plus R as of late. Sometimes Spooky plays plus R like, God, this game is so bad. It's very funny. <laughs> that is funny. They test for extreme. Those games test for extremely different things. Yeah, for so, sure. So Jesus. Oh, rush trigger? Yeah, that's kind that of That might have been the guard crush bug. By the way, it's a guard crush bug. It's a what? It's a guard crush bug. Bug that flashes on the ground, a guard crush. Oh. You have to barrier. Interesting. So here's the thing, though. Hmm. Sometimes. So you know how barrier is block plus AB? Yes. Sometimes you might get crossed up. So you get forward AP instead by accident. And now you're not now holding you're not barrier blocking. for a small period of time. Yep. I hate it. And sometimes you have to be like, oh, I got a block. And then you forget that you're not in barrier. And then it's disastrous. Yeah, but that, that is the... Sounds rough, dude. That is the, re rough. I think, reverse 3-0 right it there. It is. Spooky. That was You are 100% correct. Yeah, yeah Spooky's going to be hanging out winter side of Grands. Uh, Jade gets a, a, a small break and is going to face off against the winner of Aerodat and Ryder. Yeah. Ryder did beat Jackie Sparkles. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It was Aerodat. So Aerodat beat uh, Science Cat. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Ryder and beat Jackie Sparkles. Dog, they both made it. All right. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff.
So now it's the uh, it's the youngins it's that the are, young. got a swing on each other. It's these up and comers. I mean, yeah. one of them is gonna get tap three, guaranteed. Yeah, guaranteed right here. Air that. <laughs> oh, this is the run back. I forgot about that. We've oh, already yeah. seen this. Yes, Ryder cooked Aerodat in uh, in winter. So. That was that was a weird set. It was a weird set. It we got a lot weird. of awkward scrambles, but it like, was like, cause Ryder like, capitalized. and I love when that. I love and hate when that happens mm. because like I was like, dude, look at Ragnar Five A. It's really good. It's really good. And then Ragnar Five A. Ragnar Five. It's not even that. Yeah. You can still get too old. The interaction happened maybe like once. Or twice. He had a couple good five A's, yeah. but yeah, yeah. But it, it was, was not, not like a lot. Not a meaningful. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I mostly mean it in in that sense of like oh. sometimes you may sometimes there may be like very ma like strong matchup critical almost yeah. tools, but due to somebody playing like not even off key, like someone will play towards a different rhythm. Yeah. And then you're like, oh okay, like the standard thing to do here does not necessarily apply. Uh, so it can, be, it can be a little weird. Oh my god, he 5 a the run start! I love okay, it. I okay. Love it. I feel like this is my, like, uh, this is. Come up in here? <laughs> like, yeah, this is like one of those moments where, like, I'm valid. I feel smart. Oh, that's a, okay. that's a hard way to uh, lose the corner right here. Well, Wait, he's not. Sure. Well, he. Azrael EA, like, sucks. Because yeah. he goes back. You always go to mid screen. At like full screen, distance. and the startup's massive too, right? Oh, it's, like, it's, it's not even—it's not even that. So all of them have universal startup. Oh, it's okay. the fact that okay. like the hit, the hitboxes are different between characters. Gotcha. It's weird. Okay. I damn, I gotta make a video about this. It's not not about EA specifically. Damn, I'm too many things <laughs> happening. Okay, Gustav connected. Plus, you still match five A on, yeah. on plus frames on two. Jesus Christ. Burst comes out late. Ragnar players hate using the system mechanic. That's really really good for them. I Another burst coming up for Asriel. Uh, this is really, really dangerous. Another 5A. Really yeah. good. It's very yeah. good. It's catching them on the return. So in these specific cases where uh, Ryder is falling down, he can opt to dive kick and try to throw off the bull. He can, yeah, he can try to dive kick and throw off um, uh, Aerodath's timing. But it could be a case where like Aerodath literally just Mashes that <laughs> like a box, eight. like a boxer at round one, yeah. and just goes, "Oh wow, you, you ran into it." I guess we traded, whatever. Oh well. That's what it oh, what did you get caught pressing, son? Lord only knows what it is. All right. Regardless, one hit. Yeah, one hit away. Trying to bait that DP. Six A or was that two C? Oh, that was six A. You're dead. Astral. Astral. Yeah, there it is. All right. Close it out with the perfect this time. This is our last first and two, so like Aerodad only needs one more to eliminate Ryder, but this is already a much better showing from Aerodad than we saw in winners. So if, you, if you got a game, you're already doing better right now. And that was that was like pretty convincing. A lot of scrambles in the first round. Second round was uh, yeah. very much the Aerodad. He remembered he has a stop sign. Yes. Ragnar, this thing, this 5A, it's the stop sign, dude. You like, you know, sometimes you'll like watch Street Fighter. You're like, oh, Ryu's walking up, jab, yep. like standing leg kick, this, this, and that. And dog, that jab is so good. So good. Oh, speaking of which, hello. Yeah, Five B's gonna get the anti air. Yeah. Oh. Speaking of, it's really funny how both characters' jabs are good for slightly different reasons. Oh, we're fine, or unless. Who do you see? No. What happened? Uh oh. oh All right, Jackie, Jackie, Jackie give us the lore. What do we? What do we got? What's happening? Yeah, what's happening? Oh, it's been DCing. Aerodactyl controller has been acting up. Yep. Okay, so we had a bad cord. Yep. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is the borrowed cord. It's the borrowed cord allegations. Oh. Okay. Oh, so we're oh, taking the game too. Oh. Oh, oh, oh no, right. we're not. We're restarting. Are we restarting? Yeah, we gotta uh, be we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what All right. Happens. Um, it looks like we're just gonna restart because that was uh, a little early in it. Either way, we're out. Yeah, not quite. Not quite. You still gotta you still gotta do a little bit more work here. Gotta take that trade. Yep. Pick up. No, I had already committed to the teleport. Take by that five. 
And because of the meter, that's going to lead to a bit of increased damage, but also a, uh, a one lead point applied here. Just, oh, yeah. too much dip on the chip, a little too much uh, filler on the combo. These things happen. Dragon's going to be able to regain some health, but realistically speaking, this will still not stop, like, a jab or so from just killing. Yeah, right? Yeah. There like, uh, there's the trade. Yeah, exactly. Like you said, Jules will take any straight hit right there to guarantee that kill. Yeah. And you can see it, like, again, because Ryder recognizes that, What's like, these? oh my goodness. Dude, that's the second time we've seen 6A just get straight up whip punished from Arrow Down. Yeah. Stuff. Ryder will sometimes get very antsy about 6A usage. Yeah. So he'll try to use it very preemptively to call certain things out. And while it is a good part, sure. like, due to that still click that he knows, reverse it, um, due to him being too preemptive about it, like, he'll end up just getting whip punished for free. Um, so it can be very, very dangerous. Again, like, uh, 6A is very good. Mm. Uh, you just got to be, like, mindful of where you are placing it, what you're trying to call out. And that's why 6B is so goddamn silly, bro. It works as an anti-air sometimes. It's plus. Oh, what a tech. All right. 6A, 6C again. Oh, my God. This uh, is going to be solid damage. I'm not going to eat my kill. This might Actually, kill. Actually, you can pop him. I was going to say, I think this is dead, bro. No. Tried to go for the fancy stuff. And it's yeah. back at you, brother. Both players spending the overdrive right here. You have a hundred meter. I don't think he's gonna round it to the kill. No. no he, oh, okay. He's got the RC into like. Oh, he got the wall mounts because of the OD, right? Yep. Okay. So, that's okay. like, it's it, Ragnar combos are very good, but basically, devoured by darkness, the claw super there, yeah. it, uh, it's really, it has really good damage in overdrive. And Aerodad basically had enough that even if it didn't kill, he could RC into just like D DP, yeah. and then like potentially kill. So it was uh, one of those. Uh, Looks like uh, Aerodak catches the roll here from Ryder, takes the throw, and that is going to be a pretty decent starter. What do you think, dog? This is going to hurt. Uh, it's not a lot of damage, but it's still solid over here. And the meter gain for uh, Aerodak's pretty good. Forcing yeah. out the burst right there because that combo would have killed otherwise. Good choice. That looks like it. Uh, yeah, that profile was, TP. <laughs> no, that was that was Sentinel dump. So oh, it will, okay. Yeah, so it armored the first couple of. Uh, Two A's there, but uh, he ended up uh, clipping him out of the uh, guard point. Oh, yeah. All right, TRM check just does not tech the throw right there, and it is going to be Aerodat. Okay, reversing the winner side uh, verdict here. It's Aerodat going to be beating Ryder 2-0. Yeah. Okay. Um, and again, lots of really good adjustments from Aerodat. Um, there are times in which you genuinely just have to clean up a few things, and then you will be fine. And I think that set compared to last set is emblematic of that. Yes. Whether it's the jabs or some other areas. Um, I also I mean, think a lot of those DPs, my God, those were, those were connecting. Uh, the, the, the jabs alone were like, that was, an, that was enough to disrupt the pace at least, right? Because sure. that, was, that was letting Ryder get in kind of for free last time. Um, yeah. So as soon as Toledo or <laughs> Oh, we're getting everyone's names oh, mixed up today. Yeah, I don't even sorry. know anymore, dude. As soon as Aerodad... Um, Got that locked in. It, it, it provided, like you said, the stop yeah. sign to let him go through. We, we got an update, Jackie? Well, I just want to provide a bit of context for this matchup. Uh-oh, all right. Two yeah, two months ago. Yeah, two Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay. Oh, okay. So. Oh. Okay, so this is a run back from a few months ago where um, oh. Jay, Jade's coming down from uh, from Winners Finals and Aerodat has to face her in a first to three. So this should be a fun one. Um, yeah, we've seen this matchup a couple times and I'm pretty sure Jade has won the last couple times, if I remember correctly. Um, oh, dude, look at, look at who's, who Aerodat's beaten so far, though. Like, fell into losers immediately. Chris, Science Cat, Ryder, like, you just, all right, you, you got the, you, you're warmed up, if nothing else. For sure, for sure. A smooth run. Nine Ragna can be very difficult in that it, it can be hard. A lot of this will be based in how both players really want to move around the screen so far. And, like, positioning is, is definitely a deal guy. Simply because Ragna does not have, like, a lot of neutral, like, effective neutral skip tools mm. or, like, a lot of nonsense that he can do to close the gap against Nine. So this could very well like live and die off of uh, kind of what that neutral looks like. Okay. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We're seeing Aerodat with 5A, DP, all that stuff. Oh, there it oh, is. All God. right. Run up 6B, force the uh, the burst right out of Jade. First thing, rising JA still 
Still a perfectly good button for the stop sign. And here we go. Well, for sure. Here's the IADJ coming out there again. Uh, you know, we were talking about it a little bit earlier before. I don't know if Ragna TV will profile it. I'm, I'm not going to lie. But that can result in things getting a little shysty. Rock is available for uh, Jade, but that's not really the defensive spell you want. Yeah. Jade might end up opting for DP instead. No meter to cover it with the uh, RC, but let's see what comes up here. Steps Elephant. instead on the gap. Ooh. Yeah, Aerodot's been very, has been like full sending of a lot of the Gauntlet Hades. Yeah. Um, I think he can stand to do a little less against people that will like go for like strong, uh, go for oh, defensive oh. options so quickly like Jade. Like Jade will, Jade will step, will DP, will do all of these things. Yeah. You have to like check her constantly. Yes. Counter assault's the big one from earlier, right? She got all the way with a lot of counter assaults that have yeah. not been counter, Yeah, she'll counter assault, reversal super, she'll do all sorts of things. There's the 5JA jailing right there, leading into the throw. Burst is about to be available, pops it immediately. This can be very disastrous, but it's the rising JA that gets her done. Yeah, that was a much needed win right there. We saw what the overdrive pop and the burst from Jade there. Like, yeah, you're you're gonna need that uh, in a potential round three if you're not able to close out uh, round two here. And it, yeah, see right off the bat, Ragnar just oh, you press there? Quick All rise, right, it's down. the quick rise. So the really good thing about quick rise is that you don't flash when you tech and wake up. And oh. generally in this game, like. Your reactions are typically built towards like, okay, the flash. Yeah, yeah, it's a hard knockdown, like there's a flash and do with it. So quick rise will sometimes like get you. That's part of the reason why like when Vantas plays, like he'll just do like quick rise 5C. Because your reaction is a little delayed and 5C is like absurd. Yeah. Due to how fast it is and how much damage it yields. So you can do certain things like that. Jade going for the quick rise into 5C is still wild just due to the startup. Normally wouldn't expect it maybe like a, like a foray or something like that, <laughs> yeah. like her jab series essentially, but it's all right. Nah, we're big chilling right now. You are feeling your Hell's Fang quota. Those Hell's Fangs are at like such a close range. Yo, the slowest DP in the whole world. I can't believe that connected actually. Damn. It'd be, whoa, you just air through in response. Yeah, yeah I, we'll take that. We'll I'm take that. By that. Take it to the corner. Uh, no, not, not quite. quite. Burst up. Oh, big 5B right here from Aerodat. This will carry to the corner. Build, eh, not a ton of meter, but so this will hopefully set you up a little bit. No, doesn't check the teleport out. Please, uh, please, meaty. Please, meaty. Yeah, that's the answer. I right understand there. that there are many defensive options in the game. There's a lot of nonsensical things characters can do. Please just punch them. Just <laughs> punch them, I swear. Just punch the witch lady. If they, that's all you gotta do. If they spend the resource, the resource is gone. Yes. There's so much less that they can do with that. The that's what we call resource management in the big biz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's important in this game. That's for sure. I mean, you, you got a ton of different resources to worry about, depending on the character you're playing. So. Yeah. Oh God, that's right. That Dude. reminds me, I got to stream tomorrow so I can show resource characters to Foxy. Yeah, all right. That guy was gonna play Kagura. I had to steer him off that path. <laughs> who? Foxy 42. Who's gonna play who? He was like, uh, he was like, you know, if I play Blaze Blue, like I probably play like Kagura and And I looked at him and I said, you don't want to play no, Kagura. No, no, play Light G. Come on. It's not even that. It's not even that. He wanted to play Kagura because Kagura is a charged character. No. Oh, and I looked at him dead sense. in my in his eyes because I knew he didn't know. Yeah. So I said, hey. Uh, you're not gonna like Kagura because ca charge in Blaze Blue kind of sucks. Yeah. Uh, and he was like, "Well, what do you mean by that?" And I was like, "You can't flash kick on hard knockdown." He looked at me and he said, "Oh, I'm not playing." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, was, yeah. it was the funniest thing. It was like the quickest I've ever I seen someone be like, be "Oh, okay, that. never mind." Yeah. Oh, uh, but yeah, I think he secretly would be like the funniest Subaki. I could uh, see him being a very funny Subaki for player. a variety of reasons, but it's a it's a. It's a long story. I'll, I'll yammer about it if we end up having like a little bit of extra time. Yeah. I like that IAD. That was pretty smooth. So Jade was using a lot of like the grounded normals to check potential approaches because um, because uh, Aerodat was using so much Hell's Fang to yeah. kind of try to close the gap. But by IADing over that, like you managed to just literally just like beat that out and force like more six C callouts. Okay. Thus trying to like make Jade like guess a little bit more on the approach there. That was really good. Um, and oh. mind you, like the early IEDJC is a, is a pure call out in that sense. Because if you do it a little too late, either somebody recovers 
Um, but if you commit to that and they 6C, yeah. like where Jade was expecting to jump there with it, like that's a counter hit now. So it, it can change certain like scenarios um, off of it. Oh, that yeah, is not OD quite right the. Whoa, oh, slipped on by. That worked that, out. Oh, it makes the DP. Yeah, you did not confirm oh, that. My B, bro. You just left a ton of damage on the table. That, and that is... might cost you the round. Oh, uh, well. Okay, I like that. Okay, just immediately jumping in those scenarios. Um, because they're not like the typical knockdowns that Nine would want to go for to set up seed there, I think Aerodot's like, wait a minute. Is this even real? Yeah. And it's just like, <laughs> and as a result, is just jumping at this point to Hell be like, yeah. whoa, that barrier break was the cleanest. Did he do, wait, he, no, he did Kara throw a barrier. He did Kara throw a barrier. You want to know why I know he did Kara throw a barrier? Because he didn't slide at all. Oh. So in order to do that, you have to input your throw and then you Kara the barrier. Okay. Oh, all right. So he did. So he did that, and that's why he stopped on a dime there. That's why. I got like, I, I, yeah. I like had to blink for a sec because I was like, Where's what? the slide? Yeah. Yeah, I was like, I was like, that was cool, but like, whoa, because otherwise, like, you could have potentially slid into like a crouching normal, and then would have been forced to like hold further offense. So by like doing the Kara barrier there, that actually like created a whiff and like greatly changed that like five seconds. Which is crazy. Also, he's beating her ass right now. Yeah, yeah, this is, uh, yeah, By yeah, the way, that's happening. That's, that's happening don't, right now. This don't. is perfect. We're up 2-0 yeah. right now. And uh, Jade they finally spends the counter assault. Okay, has been a little more angry. I hate Ragnar that. players. I know it. I know these Blood Edge players, bro. They're going to air DP. Uh, I've, I've eaten them too many times. Whoa, 5A. Five five that's getting... stuffed, bro. Yeah. yeah. Day 2A is wild. It's, it's wild, dude. I'm not going to lie to you. A couple of fairies out here. Everything's fine. So awkward double jump, Jay, and we're just Money. staring at each other. Money. I like how Jay did not waste the burst right there. You want to hold on to that for this uh, this next round because you are going to need it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Set point here for Aerodat, Chemical Jade on her potential last legs right here. This is your tournament life on the line. Rock ends up connecting. This can be the start of something new. Oh, no. That could have been much worse. No, uh, no conversion there for Jade, leaving some damage on the table. And the perfect is gone. Gonna get the falling buttons, but no confirm again. This does not feel right for uh, Aerodite right here. No. No, this, this is one of those rounds like, uh, okay, you got the burst. That's kind of crucial. There's a lot of things happening here, and at the end of the day, these players will have to look at each other's like in their eyes. Yeah. Hold on a second. I Let's can't see what happens. That punish. No, no, could be the start of something new. Could be the start of something new here. We'll, we'll see what happens. You ah. just dashed up DP. I hate plus R player. <laughs> ah! Look at these things happen. I'm like, you're insane. If you're not familiar, Jade also plays Eno and plus R. So yeah, yeah. The uh, I don't know. The, yeah. the, the Eno to the to nine pipeline I makes a lot of sense. For Aesthetically, me. Yeah. yeah. I I don't know. You know, gameplay. I actually don't understand you know gameplay wise, so that's why I can't like speak. It's. Yeah, I don't want to talk about. You've, you know. you've said enough. You oh, said enough yeah. with. You said enough by going. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> why did you hell swing after Rock? Oh. Why did what you are you doing? Dude? Why did he hell swing there? I don't care if you're wearing a do rag, Aerodat. What are you doing? <laughs> what? Why did you do that? That was oh. the meatiest five B I've ever seen. Eight active frames. That hit hella high too. It's like. so at dog. Oh, so that's gonna hit. You might not, so you probably don't know this, but 5B is a really good proactive anti-air if somebody like IADs at you, because the hitbox is relatively tall. But again, due to the startup and the way that like the hitbox extends with time, yeah. you would want to do it like uh, preemptively to catch IADs. But like due to the particular spacing there, the 5B was quite good. Uh, I won't lie. Yeah. No, that was crisp. Um, yeah. Jade is the one that still won the round off that, though. And it is, it is not going to be a sweep, uh, at least not for her uh, dad anyway. We'll see if, um, I don't know, we'll, we'll see right now is the big uh, is the big name of the game. Yeah. Spends the early burst to uh, negate that 6B damage. Yep, that's fine. Oh, what? You're looking at too much that footage. Why are you doing 5B as an anti here? I pray, I, I will tell you right now, Aerodad, just jump JA, 5A, 6A. You have Dude. the trio of the God A's. Oh. You literally have AAA insurance on anti airs. I, I'm telling you right now, you are chilling. All right, now you're no longer chilling. Now this is dangerous. Now this is a little crazy. 
Okay. Spends the meter on the counter assault. I like that. Counter assault again? Yeah. Back at you. Yup. Oh, oh. Why are you doing oh, this? Oh, you are I'm not going to look at him. To I'm, going to, I'm going to make fun of him so much. Yeah. Because I don't understand these weird scenarios in which Aerodat is like slightly minus and then he'll just let a DP rip or let a Hell's Fang rip. Because my brother in Christ, there is no meaningful offensive mix up afterwards. And this is a tough thing to deal with when you're playing against nine. Because sometimes you can convince yourself that like crazy mix is inbound. Yeah. It's all over. Nope. It's not there. It's not if, there. If. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, 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 no, no opening. No opening required. Jade is going to wake up with the Boltons. I. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you said it all, dude. I, I wish. No, 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 no. Watch this. Aerodat's going to run up. Oh, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Throw her. Throw her. She's trying to throw throw her. Yeah, I was going to say, we were holding carrier for so long right there. Okay, please RC for an extension so you can survive a potential trade, or you will Put yourself and in die. the corner and throw the game? Dog. Oh, that no. Is, uh, dang. Yes, this is bracket. This oh, is God. losers finals right now. It is tied to a piece. Um, and one, one of these cats are about to uh, go home, uh, maybe a little upset with how this went because we're, we're scrambling a little bit right now. I'm just trying to... See. Oh, they're on blue. Yeah. I'm actually surprised they're on this stage. I, lo I love this map. Yeah. Uh, hold on a second. In most tournaments, it's technically... Really? It's like, it's like slightly bigger than normal or something like Interesting. that. Interesting. Okay, I, I don't think that. I don't think there's enough stakes for us to like honestly figure out. Hold on a second. Okay, good hits. That's why I've never seen him before. Yeah, so this early OD is pretty fantastic for Aerodat because he gets to recover a ton of health. It's not a lot of damage, but getting active flow to pop a late game OD for Agna is still great. Yeah. But when you just get hit, it's not maybe going to happen. The not first stage now. will increase very quickly, though. Look at that. Already at near 70%. Oh, finally finds the opening with 6B, but a little too far away to get the combo. All right, you got the meter. It's count. I was going to say, we're, we're counter assaulting left and right here. Oh, it's the DP yeah. from, uh, from Jade. And, uh... Given that this is like last game, we can talk a little bit about the counter assaults here. So the big thing again, so like I know that I'm yelling half jokingly, I am half serious, about like resources and such and potential yeah. inbound mix. Please barrier. I'm so tilted, bro. Aerodat, that just hit wrong. Aerodat, I I wrong. I need so much I need so much more so from him to just not do these things because I look at him and I'm like, wow, like you're smart or you're yeah. doing this, this and that. And then he just does something and I'm like, I'm going to like, I'm, <laughs> I don't, I don't know what to say that's appropriate. I, I need to come up with something. With, I'm going to explode you with my mind. Yeah. You know, like, please. I, I don't know if that DP was intentional or if there was oh. a weird side swap. Aerodot's about to just lose from like weird, awkward scenarios at the end of this. I know, that I was, that like was a very fun uh, seed right there. I, I definitely enjoyed how that crossed he up. just got clipped by a... That actually, that, I'm not going to lie, that that frost was kind of OD. That, that, that was, was actually nice. really cool. That was a really yeah. cool placement there. He sold. I'm sorry, he sold. He's not um, He's too young for that. He's too young for that. Yeah, he's that's true. Too young for that. So we did All get right. the reverse 3-0 there. I, I need to I need to yell at Aerodat. Yeah. I need to hold on a second. Stand up and let I'm him gonna, know. Can you I hold you. down the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got right. you. I got you. Um, so Chester A. Million Arthur uh, ran the reverse 3-0 on Jade in winners, and Jade was able to get the reverse 3-0 on Aerodat in losers. Um, Aerodat is out and is going to be the run back here in grand finals. <laughs> Spooky versus Jade. Oh, my God, man. he said there's an explanation. I told him I don't want it. I don't want it, bro. <laughs> don't explain these don't things. Don't do it. I don't. Oh, man. Don't do that. Don't do, be better. I know he can. The only reason why I yell like this is because I know I heard that and I know he can do better. Yeah. And I'm watching you do. Don't laugh and giggle. You're doing stupid things. <laughs> and you're too good. You're too good to be doing these things. Stop doing it. Stop doing it. Had a had a good run so far. It. Like and to to, to like, your credit, like I'm looking at this yeah. man play the video game, and I'm like, okay, great. You're doing things, and they're smart, and they're intelligent, and you're thoughtful about your gameplay. And then you just you take a control. You go ah, DP. Whoosh. Let me that. Let me get that. And I'm like, what? You're not you're not oh, Slayer. You don't have mop up. You don't have mop up. What? What are we? It's not safe. It's not. Don't. Hockleyman, 
Nine the Phantom. This is going to be a little silly. This is going to be very silly. I'm going to pop Grand it. Grand Finals. Yeah. And I think Spooky just feels like playing Hakuman. Uh, half yeah, the time he plays Hakuman, game he's buffer. like, yeah. yeah, half the time that happens, he's just like, I just feel like it. You got a, you got a question here in chat, I think. Somebody's asking you something. What's up? No. The answer's no. <laughs> the answer's no. He knows just the answer. No and keep moving. He knows the answer to that, the and it's no. Yeah. The wheel of fate is oh, you know? man. All right. Grand Finals, here we go. Spooky uh, with the with the secondary. You got a three game buffer at minimum here, so eh, why not? Mess around, let's see what happens. Dog, he doesn't feel I remember there was one particular time, I think it was like at a month, and I was like, Spooky, like, hey, like, why did you go Hawkman against the Fantasy? And he even looks at me dead in my head and just goes, I want to fuck. Yeah! <laughs> yeah he that's so the hard. most spooky answer I've heard ever. Oh, no, that, oh, wow, that was not a far rollout, and you paid a lot for that right there. That's Damn, a, that's bro. A, that's a dead yeah, it sure is. It sure is. Right, we'll Spooky's we'll starting out with the perfect, bro. That's uh, that's some good stuff. We're blocking the god hand. This is great for Aquaman, by the way. Look at the meter. Oh, yeah, we're Look chilling. We're just He's building just it. He's just chilling. Yep, that's fine. He just gets passive income for existing. That's, Aquaman yeah. is the only, like, true case of passive income. Game I've seen. Man, that's crazy. I think he wants Man to Lord just Hockerman? 5D in reaction to like a God Hand, and that's what he's trying to do, and he's messing up the timing somehow. God Hand is way too slow to be fumbling this. Yeah. I mean, that's why you're seeing the whip 5As and the 5Bs here, right? Like, he's just, he's just trying to, try to, try to check something. Looking at Spooky right now. And he's is he laughing? Not, he's not moving at all. Incredible. He stood, in, he stood entirely still. He stood entirely still for that. So here's why that uh, was really good for Spooky, as insane as that looked. Yeah. The reason this is because, gonna hit so hard. Yeah, because Jade was so unwilling to press the approach or to like start offense in a certain way, Spooky gets to have full meter, and the kill pressure of a Hawkman with full meter is absolutely immense. No, if Spooky awful, sells here, I'm gonna laugh regardless. Oh yeah, 100%. There's the low, Yukikaze, she Incredible. did not realize what happened, so she couldn't jump out of the way. Because Yukikaze didn't come into contact with the physical button, Jade wasn't frozen, so she could have jumped out of that speed in particular. That was a All right. that was a few scrim. Give me, give me the laugh emotes in chat, gang, because Spooky sold that one. <laughs> this man must be working for Amazon the way he's selling. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh, blocks. goodness. Oh, that was a uh, pretty big counter hit of the jump in right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not if he drops it, son. That's nah, not going to work like that. Change you see the check for the play tag. Things are looking fine. Nice and speed. That's a basic offensive pressure. Nothing too crazy going on quite yet. Just threaten the 6B and try to get your, uh, your, your kicks in with the lows. Keep that nice and easy. Uh, we do not have nearly enough meter to kill here, but we're going to pop it. We're going to get it, and that's going to be it. Yeah. All right, only two more games for Spooky. So obviously Spooky hasn't lost yet. So Jade needs to put together six, six, six. I don't. You, I'm glad you didn't see what I did the first time. I like. I, I had like, like nine looked, fingers up. I'm I like, looked going over on, and I was like, I don't know what counting game is happening. I, yeah, man, I don't know either, bro. My 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 fingers just didn't do what they, what they it's, said. It's okay. Um, don't worry about it. Yeah, J -J. that's what I tell myself when I miss input or do something stupid. I'm like, my hands want it else. <laughs> you know what I've been saying lately? What? Uh, I've been saying it's the it. It's I've, been saying, I've been saying it's the id lately. Oh, okay. And so like, id, whenever like, whenever I do, you, yeah. whenever I do something like insane or say something insane or chaotic, I'm like, oh, it's just the id. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, but it's for the part of me that just wants chaos. It's that oh, uh, man, that's very oh. applicable to my my drops in fighting games. Actually, that's crazy. Well, awkward some neutral sense. positions. Hold on a second. We got a chance here. I don't know if you got the ID afterwards. Rock block. So like, when you're dealing with nine. Um, counting the, uh, the stock she has can be really weird. Yeah. So, like, to give you some context here, and this is really important for you to play against Nine, the ribbons on her will also show you, like, which elements she has stocked in, in what order. Yep. So when you have an understand, it's really weird. When you understand the way that the ribbons are set up, you kind of know that, like, oh, if it's, like, these buttons, like, I know where, like, I can look for rock briefly, and yeah. then I don't have to care about it. And them. you don't need to know all of them. Like, start with rock. I think rock is either blue, blue, red, or red, red, blue. I can never remember. It's, it's some combination of that. But. It's, uh, 
blue. I forget. It's, it's, blue, it's red, blue. It's double red blue. It's double red blue. It's double red blue okay. because right. double blue red is fairy. Which you saw okay. right now. All See, right. there's the there's the red into the it's the fire. Okay. Counting and all that stuff. God, this game was not designed for color blind. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm oh my god. Just not thinking. If you're red and green color blind, it's actually really bad. This is the worst matchup. I did not think about that. Oh, wow. Man. Accessibility options have come a long way. Oh, are we actually uh, picked up after the GTC? That was really cool. Versus gone full meter Hawkman with OD. We could see a dead person randomly. Uh, I, yeah. I'm telling you right now, oh, yeah. you could see a counter hit and then the opening to Not Like Us will play. I'm telling you right now. Now, thankfully, literally, literally, fine right now. Spooky's not spending any meter for some reason, even though a Yadagi would work here. But, you know, these trying are to make those big balls, ball calls, yeah. I don't know. I think he's. He's messing with me. I swear to God. I swear to Spooky God. is always messing with all of us. I, in that, some, that's, in yeah, some manner. That, that's my conclusion. But we'll see. It's either that or he's like, I just want to be this way. He's going to have some stupid bit loaded up. And I'm going to have to suck. Oh, that was actually good. Crouch confirmed? Uh-oh. <laughs> We might be going to the corner. Yeah, you know my voice could do that, did you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, threw you off a little bit there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Stop air throw it. action. This might be. Uh, no, I don't think we have enough meter. Emotionally vulnerable. We can't. That's what like. Whoa, air throw. All right. That's game two going to Spooky. We only need one more. No, uh, is that round two? No, that's round two, dude. I can't count. I can't. Oh, no, that's, that's game two. Round three. Oh, Dog. I'm, I'm just, I can't look at the screen today, Lennox. man. What's going on with me? Lennox. There's numbers Ooh available. Ah, uh, you know, numbers. they're all they're over there somewhere. I'm somewhere. only looking over here they're most of the time. Closer to you. That's what they tell me anyway, but. What? Is it? This is not the ending of Black Ops. <laughs> this is not the ending of Black Ops. We have numbers, we know what they mean. Oh, all right, all right. We also have uh, a big old Hakuman on the screen still that Jade has not been able to navigate at all, really. It's more that, like, Jade refuses to approach Spooky, yeah. and that allows Spooky to just play in neutral for, like, 20 seconds and gain meter. Every and, time. Uh-oh. There it is. I, all right. It's really funny. She walked forward for maybe a millimeter, and then by the time that happened, Enmo was already, like, crying for its uppercut. So does Spooky know the like uh, the really big hits that Hakuman has? Like, does, does he have the combos? No, he does. Okay, I just, okay. I genuinely, I just don't. I'm surprised I haven't seen a five C combination. That would be a very spooky thing to do to pick a character he only has basic B and Bs for and win anyway. Like, that would be, I don't know. Uh, potentially, I don't know. Spooky's a Spooky's a nerd though. He knows. Things. Ah, that's true. That's true. You know what I'm potentially, potential one hit kill coming up right here. 45 seconds left on the clock. Chilling. Could just Again, expend this, yeah. Because Jade is not able to like approach at a threatening range or meaningfully start offense, Spooky then has the ability to just pick and choose when he decides to go in. Jade just got her burst back. I don't know if she's going to like hold on to it or if she's gonna go for a risky burst. Doesn't even have the opportunity yeah. to do so. The 2 and 4 8 does connect. But uh yeah. With the lack of hits she's getting in neutral right here, I, I think holding on to that burst was a really smart decision because you need it for this round. Or you need overdrive to like try to get some kind of pressure going. Yeah. Okay, that's how much better start. Alright. For sure. Not Nine oh three. Not only sweet. We'll we'll talk about it if we get there. Okay. We'll, 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 put, a, we'll put a pin on it. Alright, we'll put a pin on nine OD. No no big deal. Yeah. I like the JV. And now at this point, like the situation is a little weird. How oh. did that work? What, was that JD? Yeah, that was JD. Okay, okay. Oh, oh. that could have been. You yeah. could have got your face on a on a t-shirt right there, bro. That could have been much worse. All right, all right. Big hit, not a lot of meter, but this is still gonna do some decent damage. OD right through. You blocked that, and you got the punish. All right, was, all right, Jade. I don't that, know was if that was the weirdest punish. instant Agito that I've seen. Yeah. I don't know. If he meant to, whoa. Dude, that air throw. Blue. Okay, this, this should be dead. be dead. This should be, unless you're you selling, drop. you're selling. Selling in 2024, bro. Yeah. I swear to God, I don't know how these guys do it. I say Live. that, I'm going to go on that stage in like three months, and I'm going to like hit the craziest sell ever seen. Mm. It I'm happens, it right happens to all of us, you know? Yeah. We've all been there before. Oh, big 6C. Starting to finally catch Spooky going up in the air a little bit. This is uh, this is how Jade gets in, I think. 
Oh, I was like, oh, trying to, oh, that was really interesting. So Jade dashed in, and Spooky was expecting Jade to go for, like, the cross-up into the J2A, yeah. and as a result, went for JD. But Jade didn't do that, and instead teleported back, causing the JD with it, letting her get that hit. That Love being it. said, this is very close, but Hawkman with active flow, with this low health, with this high of an OD timer available, oh, no. can and will just kill you. It's not going to be off of this hit. It's not going to be quite yet. 100 meter to work with. We might see a reversal into RC, but no, it's going to be the throw into the OD. Let's see if Spooky can get it done. No selling. No One selling. Super, there it is. Doesn't even need it. The Yanagi finishes the job. Spooky takes the set. 3-0. 3-0. 3-0. Three to three oh, I don't know. Numbers, dude. It's I'm all, all I'm all messed up with the worry. numbers game. Our our production signaled to the players that it was done. <laughs> or what? Uh, that's it. I missed that's it. it. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's yeah. it. That was that no, was no, three no, old no, grand no. spooky wins. No Arakune required. So where he's allowed at the lunch table today, I guess. I don't know. Do, do Hockman players count? Who cares? Either way. I do enjoy. I don't know. I always like seeing Hakuman, uh, Hakuman out here. Yeah. No, no Ryu Kasuma in the house today, but, but Spooky's gonna bring it for us, um, and that is gonna be it for some Blaze Blue. Stick around because we have Undernight coming up very shortly, um, and I'm, I'm, I think I see Mr. B over there. I think I see his carp over there too. We, we, we have some Uni players in the house. Basically, yeah. is what I'm trying to say. We got some good Uni players in the house. So stick around. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with some Undernight in birth. Hi, Tuesday.